right, hi everyone. Welcome to our game. Uh, thank you very much for uh, Games and Tea for uh, doing a quick raid as we started up uh, today. Um, yeah, so uh, hopefully, hopefully my echoing is done for the time being, or is at least a little bit less than what it was. Um, all right, so uh, let's see. When we last left, you guys had just finished clearing out the uh, former dwarven. Not a ruin outpost. Yeah, that's a good word for it. Sure. The beginning of a clan uh, the place that uh, got uh, crushed by trolls and such. Uh, we had a hell of a knockdown drag out fight at the uh, last uh, bit. It was touch and go there for a bit. Everyone uh, for this game should have two points, two hero points to start the game off. So, um, I forgot both of mine, but yeah. Are you taking them home? <laughs> I, I took it home in my bag and I forgot to bring it back. Well, it sounds like you problem. Apparently, yeah, Owen gets absolutely zero, so uh, that sucks. Oh, well. Maybe if you're nice, you can ask Janet to find them for you, and she can virtually flip them when, you, when she thinks you need them. Let her, her choose when you need it. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, yeah, so um, also at the end of that, you guys ended, <laughs> uh, you guys ended up uh, leveling to seventh level. So you guys are quite advanced. I was looking around the region of where you can go and a lot of the uh, stuff is actually a little bit below your level, uh, even for exploring and stuff. But that's just kind of the way this game works because Kingmaker is so sandboxy. Uh, you can go where you wish to go or might not go certain places. And you kind of either you can go someplace really bad and be really underpowered or you can go someplace and be very overpowered. It just really depends how it is. So. The game is, again, very Kingmaker is very, like I said, it's sandboxy. You guys can choose where you're going. It's very open world. So there's not there's stuff in here that you might play like this module again a second time and run into things you are not going to run into at this time or vice versa. Um, so it should be very interesting uh, going forward, seeing what happens. So um, I did not get time to um, level up. Uh, your your companions i'm not worried about them right now uh we're gonna head we're, we're i think the i, I think uh someplace people might riot if knock knock finally dies uh he is a fan favorite which is hilarious because he is an insane goblin and i love him to death literally to death he's died several times yeah, yeah exactly i've never seen so many people throw in so many healing for for him so many times yeah he, he is he is a sponge and and he's a lovable sponge, even though he's you know insane. Psycho. Uh, yeah. Psycho. Um, or, or reincarnate. Uh, this is true. I mean, mm. uh, there's not none of my personality in knock knock at all. Um, okay, so at this point, you guys. Uh, oh, first of all, let me. Uh, Are we also going to talk about our levels? Yeah, we're going to do that. Uh, okay, so Jen, is everyone cutting in and out, or just not hearing them at all? Because I have the I have I have noise gates on these guys so that I don't uh, echo into them, and I might have to turn the noise gate down just a hair for you guys so we trigger your trigger uh, your yeah, sound. So your exactly, yeah, it's, it's weird. Uh, it's weird how uh, Why gates you talk work. like this all day. <laughs> I mean, that would work as well. I cannot, my boy. Okay, so let me just check that. There. Oh, you guys. With a guy like that. You are okay, let. Let me check if I can up these guys' gain a little bit and see if that will fix it. Where it worked with a guy like that, he couldn't control his hearing was so wrecked from wearing his earplugs just at the end of his ear so he looks like he was wearing them, that he couldn't control the volume of his voice. So we're in the lunchroom, we're in the lunchroom having lunch and he's yelling. Yeah. You're like, bro, why are you yelling? He's like, not yelling. I'm you are. My grandfather had the same problem. I had to change the pitch in my voice so he could actually hear me. I did it with my grandma's car. Ten years ago. Yeah. She just had kids, right? Yep. I was like, what do you want from the fridge? And then she went like, Grandma, what did you want to drink? Oh, why do you want to hear you? Yep. Oh, I accidentally set off the house alarm numerous times because he couldn't hear in the morning. Because yeah. They were too high pitched. He couldn't hear me. Oh, you got the skids. Turn off the alarm. Hurry. What? Wow, 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 wow. Hey, where's the thing? Where's the thing? Can 
Yeah, it's always pretty to say. Uh, right. Just blending into the couch. Into the pillows, yeah. <laughs> well, you can sort of see them. Yeah. Was it blowy? It's not an eyeglass. I'm going to take some of the downtime that we're going to have and retrain <laughs> it for mobility. Yeah. Hey, we can really, we really talk, talk about, about what we were going to do for... Um, well, we can talk about that right now. Or, but I don't know if anyone cares. Right. So, I guess we talked about it. But, but we, we can... can oh, no. I, was thinking, I thought you maybe wanted to talk about what we did leveling up. Here we go. Oh, I like that. Do. 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 you guys want to still chat about that. And then we can talk about yeah. Because uh, we all got a skill increase and all got a general feat, right? right? Yes. Yep. And I got a skill feat. I'm trying to remember what it said. Because um, yeah. rogues are just that way. Yeah, and you're special like that. So from alternate, the rogue dedication, you get, get uh, at eighth level, I think it is. You get yeah. a a, cla a dedication feat called uh, archetype feat called skill mastery. mastery. You, you take, take a skill that's, that's expert and you make it master. Nice. And then you take, take a skill that's trained and you make it expert. Oh. And then you, you do, do that, that five times. And and you, you get, get a skill feat associated with the skill, skill that you turn to master. Yo, that's OP. That's baller. Whoa. And it's when, when you start eighth level? Uh, it, it, yeah, yeah, I think, I think it's the eighth level uh, dedication for our kind of feat okay. or the rogue okay. dedication. That's pretty sick. Yeah, yeah, well, it's something that you can do at at uh, eighth, eighth level because you've probably taken two martial feats. Now you can take the rogue dedication feat. You know what I think? And I then have. at tenth level, you take the skill mastery feat because you gain the rogue surprise attack, which is if you go before them in initiative, they're off guard to you. Oh, that's cool. And you gain, and you, you can get sneak attack, but, but it's only one d six. Yeah. And it never, okay. and it never okay. multiplies. It never, never, never becomes multiple, but but it gives you a little oh, extra damage, damage if you're flanking someone or something like okay, that. Okay, okay, that's cool. But it's, it's the, the, the skill mastery is crazy. Yeah, and, and then you can, can take it five times. That's, that's insane. insane that you can take it five times. Yeah. Let's see. I have, I have a mastery into. It's what I did when I built Indiana Jones. You're telling me about Indiana Jones. Jones. That sounds fun. Spider with, with the yeah, archaeologist dedication. I love that. Intelligence based fighter. It e has a whip and a hand crossbow oh. because I don't, I don't believe in guns in D&D or Pathfinder. That's fair. Is there an option to have guns in, in, the, in there the, is. the guns There is. Gears. Yeah, guns and gears actually has. Uh, okay. Yeah. Has guns. Guns. Yep. Okay. All right. So, yeah, what I did is I had a compressor on you guys. That way, if you got really loud, it would shrink your volume down, but I didn't have it set right. So, I think it was compensating too much so i'll tweak that later so i just pulled the compressor off so if you guys yell you will clip who over over reacts in this game what are you talking about i don't know I mean, accurate, but rude. I'm sorry. Are we making sure? Or, you know, oh. I looked at him. I was looking the right way then. Yeah. I was, I was giving, giving a significant, significant glance in the right direction. direction. <laughs> I just got a very pointed look from Glory. Yeah, I wonder. Oh my god, I'm super quiet all the time. I don't ever, <laughs> I never exaggerate in my uh, reactions. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Jay Bear. Um, all right, so um, yeah, so let's let's go over what we did for uh, level seven. So we're gonna start. Uh, Keith, we'll also kick it off with you. Um, so Solomon went up to level seven. One thing I did check, which because I wasn't sure, because in five E, every odd level you get your your precision, but in Pathfinder, it's not till you get level eleven. So. Yeah. But that's because, yeah, well, that's because precision damage stacks on every single attack, which is great. So, anywho, all right. So, what did Solomon do for level up? For level up. Level seven, he took, and I went to a mastery in stealth now. Nice. Because that's cool. Mm hmm. And he took the general feat. Mm hmm. Okay. Because going faster is always good. Because when I sneak, it has my movement. So I can move 15, 15 yeah. instead of 12 and a half, which it's is rounded down to 10. 10. Yeah. So, and that uh, extra and square then, really does add up. And then, and then I took the skill feat because, because I get the extra one. one. I, I took swift sneak, actually, because I became a master in stealth, which was a prerequisite for it. And, and I can move my full speed when I sneak. Nice. 
And that's, that's what Solomon, Solomon did. All right, perfect. Seventh level. All right. Well, he's retraining some stuff too. Yes. He's yeah. He's going to retrain head stomp for mobility because right. that extra movement would have been really handy in the last fight. Yeah, and, and that's uh, and to me again, it's a really good thing about uh, Pathfinders—the ability to retrain stuff out. It, the only time you can't is if it literally—it's it, usually level one stuff. And it says you cannot learn this after level one, or you cannot retrain out of it at level one. Right. And that's usually, yeah, it's usually ancestral stuff. Like uh, for my dwarf uh, changeling, it's uh, claws or something like that. He he has to pick it first. Oh no, he can pick it. Can't. Get out of there because are some special feats that you take uh, in that first, first level, you can't retrain. Yeah, you're, you're locked in, but even ancestral like, feats like can be with the uh monkey tail, yes, or, or, yeah, uh, or the, not the, the drawmar, the half orc, uh, tusks, yes, yeah, yeah, so, yeah like this is representations of like usually is, is the stuff where it's like no, you can't, but even some other uh skills, but general skills and skill feats usually are the ones you guys can train out and stuff, so um. Yeah, which is nice. It just takes downtime, and you guys, because of the way Kingmaker is structured, you always are going to have downtime. In fact, we're going to be doing a round or two of, of kingdom building to get, catch your kingdom up to you guys a little yeah. bit. But yeah, so that's, that's you know, you always have your downtime. It's a little more different if you're in a module that's like a time-sensitive module. There are some, I think Extinction Curse is one of them, where there is like a set amount of time until the bad things happen. Yeah. So you don't get a lot of downtime, but other ones, even abomination vaults, the Kingmaker, uh, and several other ones, you do get a lot of downtime. So, all right. Uh, so Owen, uh, Oblar is now level seven. seven what did Oblar do? Uh, so Oblar has a skill training, took expert in survival. Mm, so okay. Being a survivalist. Uh, and then for my general feat, I took Ancestral Paragon, which then allows me to take a Ancestry feat, and I took Unfettered Halfling, and basically helps me not get immobilized or grappled if, you know, just... That's always been a bane to casters for me, is being immobilized yep. or grappled, so I, I figured being able to get out of that makes it a little bit easier. I'm a little bit slippier. Slipperier, harder to hold on to. Grace me, woman! Uh, and then I also gained my third doctrine, which is uh, my proficiency rank for all spells, attack modifier, and spell DCs to six, six increase to expert. Ooh, so that's an extra plus two bump. Yeah. That's nice. That's really nice. Okay. And would you uh, choose for your daily preparation spells for fourth level? Because you now have fourth level spells. Uh, well, super excited for Magic Mailbox, but then I realized that it's not going to work the way I wanted it to. Uh, Magic Mailbox, basically, you take two items, two containers, and you have them at hand, and you cast on them, and if anything, placed in one for ten minutes, it is magically teleported to the other one. It's like a shitty hoping, Sandra Bullock movie. Yeah. yeah okay. I, was really, I was really hoping that I could leave one Cabin by the Lake or something like that, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Is that the one? I think, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I was really hoping I could leave one back at, the ca back at our town. And, and then take one with us, but it, it doesn't work that way. It only works for the first day. Yeah. Because it only lasts for the day. Uh, so, so instead, I've, I've taken Soothing Spring, spring basically creates, creates a hot spring, spring. Uh, gives everyone, everyone that soaks in it for an hour uh, a crap ton of hit points. I think it's like 60, 10 hit points of healing. That was 10d8 or something. Yeah. Yeah, 10d8. It was gross when you told us. Yeah. Actually, here's a question for you would that make it 10d10? I don't see why. Because you're healing. It does have the healing. Type, so I guess it would be 10d10. 10d10. That is disgusting. That is disgusting, disgusting. Plus, well, it also gets rid of all well, fatigue. Yes. At the end of a really <laughs> grueling battle, <laughs> yeah. we just hot tub. <laughs> instant hot tub. Yeah. Uh, so I thought that would be a really good one. Uh, and it really fits with my character being that he's, you know, he's a bartender in his past life. Yep. And following Aristotle, he's supposed to bring comfort to his friends. So, what's more comforting than a nice hot tub soak? It also kind of like relates back, back to the, the healing pool at the... Yeah, yeah that too. The, uh, at the uh, temple. Right. There, yeah. Well. So, so um, a nice little nod to that as well. Yep. Uh, so, so yeah, yeah that was soon in spring. spring. The, the other one I took, took, every day. took is also another healing spell called Vital Beacon. Ooh, yes, I read that one. Uh, oh, so I like this that one. one too. Yeah. What? <laughs> Vital <laughs> Beacon. Basically, you cast it and it lasts until your next... It takes one minute to cast. So it'll last until your next daily, daily preparations. Okay. And anyone uh, gives, gives me an aura, aura and anyone once per round can use an interact, interact action to supplicate and lay, and lay hands upon themselves or someone else. 
to regain hit points each time the beacon heals someone, it decreases the strength. So it starts at 40 10. I wonder if that would also be affected by my healing. Damage. No, that one, that one wouldn't because it, it goes down by uh, specific yeah. numbers. Uh, so it starts at 40 10. The next, next person that takes it gets 48 point, 4 D8 points of healing. The third is 46, and the last healing is 44. Can you um, also take this? Well, I, it's on the primal list, so I added it, but I didn't prep it for yeah. today. I, I did, did prep it for today, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, I like that one. That's, uh, yeah. that, I read that one, and yeah. I'm, like, I'm like, oh, it's primal and divinity. Oh, damn. And I can heighten it. Yes. So I can cast higher level spells each time I cast in a higher level slot. Uh, it, it restores, restores an additional, additional die of hit point of whatever the hit point. So if you so heightened it, it'd be five, 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 it'd be fives all the way down the board. One, so yeah. it's like if you prepped it as a fifth level spell slot, it only, only takes another level of spells, yeah. Yeah. which is cool. Instead of like three levels of spells. Yep. So I mean level 10 and you can be getting... Gross. Gross. 10 to 10 starting out. Yeah, oh, and then that's really nice. Like I said, it's an interact action, which is nice. Uh, basically, yeah. you so just... It's, it's, it's basically, basically a pull of heal. And it lasts until the end of the day. Yeah. So if everyone... If we just... All I have to do is keep track of who's used... Yeah, or which one is gone? Which one's been used? Yep. And that's good for the last until the next morning when you're doing. Yes, when I'm doing my preparation. So, you know, so <laughs> before you go to sleep at night, everyone make sure you pull from the from that font exactly. and just drain it, and you might as well. Yeah. yeah. Or you just leave running because. Yeah, sometimes we get up overnight. The only real downside is is it isn't aura, and it doesn't say how far. Actually, it doesn't say what the range of the aura is. This is a read out from you. Um, but yeah, so you, I, I'd, I'd, I'd have, have to be around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd have to be around you, but other than that. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, it so. takes an interact action. Yeah. But it doesn't. It doesn't sound like, like if you're in combat and someone's going to hurt, you feel like, like I used use one, one of my actions to. Yep, to interact. Yep. Okay. Uh, so, so, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah so, so either, either you or an ally can use an interact action to supplicate and lay hands upon you to regain hit points. So you can, you, can, you can use it to heal me, or I can use it to heal me. Yeah. Yeah. No? No. no. You, you lay hands, hands on us, or we can lay hands on you. Oh! Right, okay, so, so I have to touch you, or you have to touch me. You have to, you have to be adjacent to me. I'm supplicate. Yeah. Hey. And all you have to do is touch me, and you'll, as an interaction. And we can lay hands on you and heal you, that's what and then you can lay hands on us and heal us. Okay, so that's how it works. So that's the that's the limit of the range, is you have to be in touch, but... Okay. It's easy enough for me to... Yeah, the interact action is a touch. Okay. Either, either way. It doesn't say if it manip it's manipulate or not, but hey. Well, usually if it's uh, like it would follow, because uh, it says lay on hands, right? It is. Yeah. yeah. It so is I, would, I would assume also with being lay on hands, it means it has to be within reach. But yeah, okay. I like it. That's awesome. All right. Uh, Gwen, uh, what, did, uh, what did Sienna do? You mean mastery in medicine? As a mastery. Mastery. Yes. Definitely mastery. mastery. Yes. yes. Master. I have an M there now. Yep. I think we all went up to. Uh, you, well, you could have. You can take different things. You don't have to, but most people go that route. Put it in the next one. Uh, yeah, insurance, and you put it under medicine, right? So, insurance medicine um, basically means instead of rolling a dice, uh, Gwen just gets a, a flat 10 plus proficiency bonus, which as a master is a plus six. So it automatically would give a 16 with no bonuses, no negatives, nothing with it. Uh, no, it is just... Level plus training, which, is, which becomes your proficiency modifier. But I thought... there's no other bonuses or, yeah, or penalties. You can throw roll rolling a skill check for that skill to instead receive a result of 10 plus your proficiency bonus. Which is... Which is your level plus training. Plus level of training. So if you go back to your skill file, it should tell you what it is. It's plus 13 proficiency. Yeah. 23 pure insurance. It's not like it's gas station sushi. He's a bit of a pirate. He's already got things that need fire, fire to kill them. This is true. Fire has been very oh, helpful to it's us. It's trauma that's causing this. Sorry, traumatizes the druid. 
I mean, that's okay. Our trauma too. Our, our, our fighter bird. That <laughs> hasn't killed anyone yet. I think they were all traumatized. I mean, in theory, technically. Gwen is unfortunately naturally quiet, so there's nothing I can do to bump up her volume. Yeah. Solomon is showing off his trauma by beheading all the patrols, placing their heads on stakes yeah. at, the, at the major entrances to the dwarven place. Rodella is showing off hers. Uh, she now took yeah, that's So I'm 99% sure assurance is only your proficiency bonus. It is not your skill bonus. So it is only a plus two, plus four, plus six, plus eight. That's it. it. Is your level. Your, your proficiency, proficiency modifier is your level plus your training. No, your, your proficiency modifier is trained, expert, master. That's your proficiency. It's not, it's not your full bonus. Look at the, in, in here, acrobatics. acrobatics. My proficiency is trained. No, no, just look up assurance, though. I, I'm, 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 I'm bonus equals proficiency level bonus plus class, class level. And well, then, that's right. to get your total, well, you add in your ability. ability. Because assurance says choose a skill you're trained in. You can forego yep. rolling a skill check for that skill to instead yep. receive a result of 10 plus your proficiency bonuses. So when I look at it's this, it's like, like just mousing over medicine, medicine where it says M proficiency plus 13, proficiency bonus equals proficiency level bonus plus class level. And then it says my stat, which is wisdom plus four, is in the next column. Okay, so it's only your level plus your bonus. So all you'd have is seven plus six to 13. So you do a 23. So you could, you could assurance your expert medicine and automatically pass it. But you could not assurance your mastery one because that's higher. Than oh, that. no, no. You just have a role for that. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's to make the things that should be easy, easy. And I keep failing that 21, so I'm very happy to take it. But I mean, you got to take it. Yeah, yeah you, you got to take it to make the easy things, that, the things yeah. that should be easy, easy. And assurance also won't work with uh, risky surgery. No, because risky no. surgery gives that plus. Well, I mean, you don't get you don't get the you don't get the, you don't get the plus but two. Correct. Yeah. Automatically succeed. Yeah. Which is not a huge deal. It's only forty-four plus ten instead of yeah. forty-eight and seven. Uh, she's actually plus fifteen. She got the extra plus five because she's she's a medic. Either way, it'll make the easy things that should be easy easy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, last but not least. Carly. Yeah, hello. Yeah, um, uh, yeah, for my feet, I take that hard. Out of the condition dying high. The trauma coming out. We're just getting precariously close to that. Well, well. Then, um, for the last feature, I got, um, Battlefield Surveyor, which I think that means I get an additional, yeah, plus two circumstance bonus to perception checks for initiative. Oh, yeah, we all got class features, too. And I also, um, I think it's like one of them in weapon specialization, Vala, I can use them all. Um, and then for my skills, uh, I am now a mastery in intimidation. Nice. Intimidator. Fortunately, she's not a master debater. Uh, just a master intimidator. Um, and I think that's, that's it. I don't think I have a ton of stuff to do for No, uh, did, uh, did you get weapon specialization? Yeah. I think, I think all martial classes, classes get it at seven? seven? I think so. Yeah. yeah. It pops up under the class feature. I got it. So, uh, it, it, if you're a master, like increases things for you. Yeah. And, and so you're master in swords, I presume. Well, you're a master in all weapons, technically. Yeah, yeah you're, you're, yeah, because your proficiency uh, of martial weapons goes to master. I have, yeah, five yeah, weapon mastery at fifth level. Yeah. Fifth, then you should have picked the class of weapons. Yeah, I think I picked. Yeah, it was swords. Yeah, that's, that's the one you become master in. You're still expert in everything else. Okay. But you get, get the, 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 the bonus damage, damage comes on, and, and you'll, you'll get, get plus three with, with your sword, and plus two with everything else. Okay. And later you'll become a legendary in your weapon, in your chosen weapon, and master in everything else. Ooh. And then even later you become legendary in everything. Everything, but that's like level seventeen. So yeah. Well, that's that, that, that's yeah, that's that's end of the that's end of the campaign. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. Pretty much that's all I did. All right, wonderful. Mine was pretty easy. I was like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, but it's always good to, you know, uh, we do it off camera a lot of times where we sit around and everyone just chats about what they want to do and stuff. Because a lot of brainstorming, a lot of chat on our uh, our Facebook group and stuff about uh, um, positives and 
and like the business one, like what's, yeah. like what's kind of like the group consensus? Yep. Think, yeah. yeah we can do that, like, That's a big thing with Pathfinder again. It's a very team oriented more than I think uh, 5e is because there's a lot more synergy that happens with the classes and working together and stuff. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's kind of a little boring and everyone's go looking over their character and then, uh, and then figuring stuff out. But okay, after the extensive research, I just did all this one cell. What do we do? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Which is, which is the way it needs to be. I, I, I that's the whole point of, uh, of the group play of, uh, of any TTRPG is the group, uh, working together. So, um, all right. So, when you guys um, clear out the um, this area, what are you doing? I'm cutting the heads off of all the trolls. Oh my god! Putting the kennel master and the green trolls, or forest trolls, at the door entrance to the purple worm tunnel. Okay. Uh, bodyguard <laughs> and and I don't know what what the other two. two. They, they were just, uh, well, so the, the basics of it for the out of game context is, um, Hargukla was actually a, uh, troll warlord was the actual stat block he was. And she was, um, just a troll. Well, she was not just a troll, but she was a troll, basically shaman. So they gave her a spell list. Yeah. A druid spell. List. Well, a primal list anyway, which is, uh, okay. All right. I'm just watching, uh, thinking of this halfling taking a giant fucking head. That's like, you know, the size of him trying to like fucking roll it. <laughs> knock Knock is helping you, by the way. He loves the idea. You're, you're, he's, he's hacking into that sucker with a band and. <laughs> yep. Did we figure out why this, why this was an abandoned dwarven? Yeah, because the, the worm that dug the troll into the back, or dug the hole into the back, made it um, impossible to defend, so they left. Yeah. They tried to make it go a little bit, but things became so. Rough. If we were to fix this up, could we maybe put out the word that your people could move back in and maybe make allies that way? Well, who was that? Um, maybe. that guy uh, that, that we met at, at the very beginning, beginning who's oh. also a dwarf, and he was telling you about it. Part of our council. Is he part of our council? Hurry him. Oh, well, he. I remember, I remember he was talking about, about trying to find this place, place wasn't he? Yep. Was that his whole his whole shebang? Oh, don't move. Yeah, yeah. Look around in here for uh, like artifacts and stuff. We found a little temple, but uh, I don't really want to go back there. Nope. <laughs> Can we board this up in such a way that it's not easily usable right away? That's why I was putting the troll heads here as a warning. Device. Um. Uh. Yeah. You. You. You can take the time. Uh. To do it. Uh. As well. Uh, you know. Amiri, Ekadayo, and Knock Knock can also stay behind and do that while you guys go off and do something else. Because uh, we're going to pull them out of your character rotation anyway. You do not need all. <laughs> yeah, you do not need the extra NPCs. So, and also, I haven't leveled them up, which, uh, depending on where you go, might be a very big detriment. Yeah. Oh, and I, I am gonna, uh, for some unknown reason, um, unknown. Yeah, uh, Owen was thinking we didn't do the full rest. So let me just put you guys in a oh. overnight rest. It should. Yeah, I have, I have... Okay, so it, it should re refresh all you guys now. All right, yeah, so your daily prep, uh, you should uh, obviously have done that. That's the time where you can change into your spells and stuff you need to. Uh, I still say Gwen needs to take the dinosaur one. Oh, oh do we, do we heal in our mess? Yes. I, I, I get my level in healing as well. Uh, honestly, I think, you know, he can just make a hot tub for you guys. And, then I get yeah. my level in healing as well. That's a healing kind of like, thing. I'm like, ding! Oh, hey, guys! guys. Look, Look what, what I can, can do! do. And suddenly there's a bubbling hot tub in the middle of the... Uh, Middle of, middle of the camp uh, all right so um yeah we're just gonna basically refresh you guys put your belt back up to full hit points and stuff you've you've leveled up and everything as well Jeez, look at our Della. 99 hit points now holy crap oh i haven't updated the yeah, rotation problems. yeah um, i will uh have to update the uh, uh the character rotations after this because your armor class and stuff has changed but for now, it'll still say the level six ones on the rotation, which is fine. All right, so I need to share this map with you guys. I need to know. So you guys are right now down at the kind of bottom, uh, bottom left corner. Uh, you should see a troll picture on the map. Yep. 
Uh, so that is where you guys are. So I just need to know what kind of route you want to take to go home. The castle that is just north of you guys is where you had the um, dude with the strangle vine. There's also the... Yeah, you guys are very far down in the Nelmarch, yeah. So these are all possible settlement sites, future settlement sites. Possibly, but it would take a lot of work to do that. To get down here, holy smokes. Also, just a reminder that... Where is it? I think the next settlement is the... Is the fort. Uh, I think the next settlement is the shrine. The one that's right like, next door to us. Two, and then we have access to that healing pool. One, two, two. Well, squares or hexes below the, the like, like, hag, where the little um, island is in the middle of that river. Mm -hmm. That is where the lizard people are. So we got, we just got to be careful of that, too. Because yeah. they are enemy number one. Now those trolls are gone. You be careful of that. Um, so one of the things to remember, when it, when it comes to um Careful. growing your uh growing your 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 influence your village uh you do end up taking over hexes around uh the base so you can start like claiming hexes claiming hexes so if you claim the hex with like with the shrine on it uh you don't have to make a settlement on it the shrine just becomes part of oh. of your your group, right? It's not like you suddenly have to make another city over there, oh, okay. et cetera. So okay. you do kind of start claiming stuff as you, as you go around. So yeah. And, you, so, and yeah, our next settlement might be the, the, the fort. Yeah. You always want to make sure like during kingdom turns that you are trying to claim hexes, uh, just to increase your sphere of influence also increases with the level of your, um, of your kingdom. And this is why we need to do a couple kingdom turns right now. Cause we've got to get your kingdom up to level three. Uh, to kind of match where you guys are right now. It takes about a week to get back. It takes roughly about a week to get back. Uh, again, like I said uh, in our group chat, depending on side quests, because you guys are known to do that. Oh, I know, it's so track. fucking weird. It's like it's a giant sandbox. Oh, and for uh, those who are watching, the kitty cam will actually work on combat uh, as well now. I've, I've put that in there. So uh, kitty cam will work on every screen that we are on. So we... Here's like right now, I can put the kitty cam on. <laughs> or try to explore new ones. Or head home through hexes that have lizard people in them, because that's, that's the only, only hex I want to go to that I don't know about. Well, we did send out emissaries to the tax. But the tax is very far west of where you guys are. I think we tried to send spies to the lizard people. I think we failed the... Yes. And that definitely failed. I remember that. Yeah. I put surveillance on Because I wanted to know. I still want to know. Like, you just burn, burn them all. all. I think Sam will like, like that. that. Burn them all. What, what if, if we, we can make, make allies with the lizard people? Exactly. We could be, be friends with them. Yeah. Maybe. They're just lizards. I don't know what they actually are. I just remember that they're lizards. Uh, they're actually tall, upright, walking lizard people. Oh, yeah, they're lizard people. Right. If you were dead in front of them, <laughs> they would eat you. Well, if they were dead in front of me, I'd probably eat them. If you were alive in front of them, they would eat you. They could try. She's diehard. Now she's are, chewy. Are you being racist? <laughs> are you being racist right now? No, I'm just saying that if they had the chance, they'd eat you. I said that yesterday. So at LARP, I play a large Black Panther Sar. And um, one of the new girls uh, is playing a silver fox, but she's actually a black silver fox. She's And... Thistle, one of the characters, looks at her and looks at me and goes, are you two related? And I just stared at her. I'm like, is this a black thing? And she's like, what? <laughs> and I'm like, she's a fox. I've probably ate some of her friends. Sorry. And she's like, what? <laughs> I'm like, kin are not all related. I'm like, do you think I'm related to Sui, who happens to be Keith's character? He's a hog kid. And I'm like, um, no. And I, that's, yeah, Red, Red River Hog. I'm like, that's not how any of this works. Okay, I need to see some of these costumes. I need to see some pictures of you guys in this costume. Oh, yeah. I have, we... I have photos of another costume. Yep. Actually, yeah, we're in our costumes at, uh, at Expo. At Expo. Yep. Yeah. Which is funny because some people didn't realize who I was at yeah, Expo because I was in full... Well, I mean, I'm wearing a full cap mask plus all my, my body paint and stuff. It was... I saw you and she was like, I didn't... Anywho. Yeah. And it looks fantastic. She needs some scissors. It's best. Oh At this point, she's just done ripping through it like an animal. It's fine. Pretty much, yeah. 
All right. Uh, so yeah, where are you guys going? You have searched most, like, so everything pretty much, a kind of that northern route has been searched um, or has been explored by you guys, which also makes a difference in the kingdom turns uh, when you go to clear hexes. If you haven't gone in there before, you have to actually explore the hex first, and then you can clear after. Yeah, we've explored everything like directly around. Like, oh, you know, have. A of wait, what is this? Way? Anywhere you see like a little image, you have searched that area and likely around or up a, or. or. So, we searched this area pretty thoroughly before we picked where we wanted our. Looking at. Yeah, we did. Looking, looking at, at where, where the troll is. is. Mm -hmm. If we go like the hex to the right. Mm hmm. Have we been in that one before? Not that you're aware of. Okay, so we, we can kind of go to the right and yeah, go way up. To get to, get to the trolls, we came from, from the egg yeah. and down. Yeah. We we'll, we'll went across over to the yeah, we went castle, castle and then we came down. <laughs> so, so we could go inside the cliffs. Right. So what we could do then is go like one yeah, cause, to the right. Because you guys, you guys came down and you talked with um, the dryad. Yeah. And then you went over and checked on the, the, oh, yeah. the Nixie and the satyr. And then from there, you went over to the castle, the vine guy, the vine guy and, and, then and, guy. And, and then you went pretty much straight down from there. So then, yeah, we could go one to the right and then kind of one up to the right-ish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then we're close to where the lizard people are, but not in their actual hex. Right. And then we could go, like, one up to the left-ish and then, like, make way up. And that way we can still take a look, but not actually be... Oh, okay, go up to the river. Yeah. Just a little bit, and kind of, then we can kind of like just see what we see, but then we're not actually like going over to attack them. We're just kind of making our way through town. Just, just the two hexes straight, straight diagonal yeah. from where we are. Yeah, one, two. That would involve crossing the river and taking a look around there. Yeah. All lead the way and guide everyone. So one of the nice things I like about Fantasy Grounds is when it comes to um, figuring out your guys' XP for encounters and stuff, I can actually change the party size and the party level, and it recalculates out the XP for you guys. Nice. Yeah. Because it's much different if you are level three going into a level five encounter or level seven going into a level five encounter, it changes the XP. So I'm very happy about Fantasy Grounds automation for that, which is really nice. I'm still waiting for the new version of Fantasy Grounds though, guys, get on it. I wanna see that camera view uh, thing on the map. I really think it's gonna be cool. Yeah, that'd be, yeah. Um, okay, so as um, so you guys make your way up into into that area and you, you come I need um survival check. Survival. And that would be from Oblar or Sienna. Uh and that would be secreted in the tower, please. Uh, yeah, but you're not cool. They're cool. They're the outdoor people. It's fine. Yeah, they're the outdoor people. That's, that's weird. You are survival is uh, yeah, no bueno over here. There we go. Okay. The girl be unstrained. Survival's for chumps. It's fine. Yeah, but I don't, I don't deal well with others. I have no diplomacy. Oh, see, I'm balling it. Diplomacy. I'm your now. Okie dokie, then. So as you guys are, are um, walking along this area, you're, you're kind of close to a, a river area, and you notice... Well, Oblar and Sienna uh, spot this almost a, a freaking hex away. Uh, your numbers were an 18 and a 19 on the dice. So, yeah. So, 18 and a 19 on the dice? Yeah. And then I get a plus 15 on top of that? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. The fine part is we know right now that every roll after this is, is going to be shit. So, we know. We, we, we've got, this one you, guys have burnt, you guys have burnt the 18 and 19 out of your... This wasn't the important Now, this was not really the important one. Um, I'm glad I wasn't paying attention. Exactly. <laughs> so as you guys are walking along, um, Oblar and uh, Sienna both notice um, tracks leading into a nearby cave. It Ooh. seems to be um, closer to the river. Um, like the, the, the tracks lead to the river and back, uh, and you see a lot of them. Um, can we identify what kind of creature might have done this? You sure can. That would be a nature. Recall knowledge nature, please. It doesn't look like a lizard. Well, I am not a Viking that, but I'll give it a shot. shot. Ordella, I baked some cookies this morning. Yeah, Gwen, the rest of your rolls are going to suck after this. Uh, Solomon, you're standing kind of scratching your head. Not really sure. Or Oblar, sorry. Well, even Solomon. Solomon's just... 
Yeah. Solomon's trying, trying to figure out what tracks, tracks we're talking about. Exactly, yeah. Because like, all I see is these weird imprints. They're like animal tracks. They're shaped like uh... Okay. Does that make me That makes you faster. Got it. Um... You put your kitty cookies in your pocket. Wonderful. Yeah, so... Uh, give me one second. So Albert, Albert doesn't recognize him. No, you do not. Something went this way, but I have no idea why. A whole lot of somethings. A whole lot of somethings? And then I give everybody jello shots. <laughs> and the one thing that that uh not that game is like damn girl that <laughs> knows for a fact is the tracks are from a a large creature not not just a small creature a large creature uh, and it looks cool sienna knows she's very sure she knows what these tracks are from then we should not follow them that would be yeah. bad Better than, than the trolls. trolls. Why, what is it? Better than the trolls. Are you sure it's a large dragon? Uh, no, you actually think it's not a dragon, it's a drake. Yes. So drake, you know instinctively, is a kind of lesser version of a dragon. The fuck, boy. Yeah, in, in, yeah pretty drake. much. Yeah. You know, Jesus. He sees some guards shot in front of his house, and oh, in front of the cave and stuff. And he owes like $500,000 to him because he lost a bet apparently on the weekend for some boxing thing. Yeah, I, 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 I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a TMZ whore. I love celebrity gossip. I love celebrity gossip. And I fired up uh, TMZ this morning and apparently there was a boxing match between in Saudi Arabia between two, like one guy who's got like five titles and the guy who had like the last title and he won on a split decision and Drake bet $565,000 on the loser. So he lost Ouch. a half a million plus dollars. So, Ouch. Ouch. Probably yeah, I, I, he wouldn't be making the bet if he can't. Yeah, the sad thing was they're like, the, if he would have won, the bet was only a million, like a win. Like you didn't even get double your money. Like that's kind of fucking sad. So, oh yeah, it's, oh trust me, I, I know Vegas odds. That's for sure. Like so give everybody yellow shots in the morning. There's a green one and a purple one. I say drink the purple one now. Okay. okay. They'll give you a plus two zone saves versus the zone saves. Anti-plague. Just in case. And it works for 24 hours. Yum, yum. The other one is an antidote. It only works for six hours. Wait, that one was in the pocket? Yeah, that can go in your pocket and it'll... It protects you from poison. Do you have a lid for the shot glass? Yeah, it's yellow. I'm not going to stick... An open <laughs> glass in my pouch. <laughs> I'm certainly not going to walk around with it in my hand. I have a special little pouch that's just for all of my snacks that come from lined with wax paper. Yeah, and it's all pretty, and then I put them all in there, and then they like they live on my little belt. Yeah, you got an antidote elixir, is what it is. Okay, good for six hours. It gives you a plus two item bonus versus. Poison. All right. Is this, what do you guys do? Oh, uh, <laughs> what's vegan? What's gluten? It, it, it has flavor. It's magic. Actually, alchemy is not magic. Oh, excuse me. How did the range shot go in that case? Okay. I think that would be a bad idea. Everything you're saying is telling me we should go in that case. You can go if you like, but I'm going to stay out here and your funeral. Do we still have our 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 party with us too? Like, no, they went back. Either they went, went back, back or we left them there to start securing it. Because it's just us. Yeah. It's just us. I don't, I don't know. know. What do you know about Drake's? I don't know. Well! Do you even know what kind of Drake it is? I'm, I'm going to guess since it keeps going to the river, it might be, you know, some sort of water Drake, but I'm not sure. Or just going to the river to have a little drink, drink, a little sister. Well, like me to roll. I mean, you can just read your chat, too. I have said it, too, but I wouldn't. Apparently, I know they are immune to fire paralysis and unconscious, weak to cold. I think it's a flame drink. So you know my fiery spells wouldn't be so great. Oh, oh. So what I'm hearing, hearing is... Let's not go in that game. The yeah, yeah, we'll we'll shoot this is off. off. Yeah. yeah. We prepare, prepare our spells and then come back and go in the cave. I need everyone to make me a stealth check, please. Wait, we're going in the cave? Is that what you just said? No. You're passing by it. Oh. And at that point, I require a stealth check. In the tower. Yeah, absolutely in the tower. You sure do not. I'm going to play it right now. I'm not I'm good at stealth. Choice. I am untrained and I'm not a stealth girl. girl. <laughs> we have a plus one. In, in plate mail <laughs> armor. Yeah, yeah I'm thinking you're not stealthy. I'm not stealthy. I spy all of them everywhere. Okay. I probably alerted it to our presence. You made a lot of noise and probably alerted it to our yeah. presence. No, you're fine. Oh, I could have rolled. What if you want to trip over a rock and not to say something? I could. If I roll like a one or something, yes. It could happen. 
It totally could have happened, and it sure, I'm sure it did, too. But one of us, at least. We had a battle map. Some of us did. What did you do? So... I just look at her going. You got you guys are, are are you know kind of stumbling along, and you stop and talk and 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 you're like maybe we should go see it and she uh, and uh or or sorry Sienna in a very booming voice says then I'll then I will worry about your funeral and that's when you hear a roar from inside the cave. What the fuck? Did she critically fail? Nope, no, no, no. It's the same map. Uh, <laughs> oh, the, the it could be. It's giving me more vibes. I almost died then as well. And at Otherwise. this point, we need you to do that voodoo that you do so well. Please roll me perception. Yeah, I wasn't seeking. Actually, uh, perception or initiative? Well, you need initiative, but um, Oblar and Sienna can actually roll uh, survival Ooh. if they wish. And Keith can roll a stealth. So how do I do it as my initiative? Uh, you just roll it and tell me. Unfortunately, there's no way. Oh. Oh. Let's go, go my guy. guy. Oh! <laughs> yeah! Oh, bitch! Holy shit! Shiza! Oblar got 23. I rolled like garbage. We rolled like you used our good rolls already. Yes! Yes, you did. Okay. So, all right, top of the well. order. So, as you guys are wandering along, you again hear the snorting and you see a small puff of smoke emanate from that cave mouth that is just north of where you guys are standing. No, I thought I'd say we run away. <laughs> I don't really want to play a dragon right now. Or a drake, excuse me. I'll be fine. We're talking about how many trolls? Can't be worse than a troll. You want a bet? Okay. It can't be worse than three trolls at the same time. One of which had two heads. Yeah, we feel quiet. Effectively making it a fourth troll. Hunting Dwake. Do we want to stay and fight? Or do we want to run? No, you don't count. <laughs> I know what you want to do. Well, I guess I know who's not getting healing in this combat. That's fine. Um, <laughs> I'm not Sienna. <laughs> Sienna, with your original role, you also know that that sucker can fly probably 50 feet or more around. Oh my god. So Sorry. Running away. An action. So we're fighting. Okay. You're, You're just gonna die tired. Your <laughs> double stride <laughs> doesn't even run it. Oh, it doesn't We're gonna test out that new dying, uh, that diehard feat. <laughs> yeah. Try to bottle it up in the caves, prevent it from flying. Lead the charge. Is there a combat tracker? Am I? Oh, I guess what the clerics are for. Delete the charge. That's a you thing, not a me thing. Oh, wait, uh, you're kind. I'm gonna forget that you're not a clerk. I'm a backliner, I'm not a. Charge and bottle up the door. Oh, yes, on the combat dark. tracker, you guys will also see that I have added in um, a small part of the chat that will actually show people's um, dice roll results. Oh, that's sick. Okay, fuck. Sorry, did you say that they're resistant to fire? Resistant or immune? What's fire drink? So I'm immune. So don't use fire. It's, a, it's an immune. Immune to fire. I think my. Standard practice when I first get up in the morning, if, if we're not yeah at home, will be to cast the vital. The vital, yeah. The vital. I, I kind of guess it's. Do, sorry, do we know if it has any weaknesses? It'd be part of your daily preparations. Do I have anything that is cold? I don't have any cold. I don't think I have any cold. You'd use your heart. I have frostbite. <laughs> Chip a chunk off of that thing and throw it at him. <laughs> I, I took general purpose elixirs today. I can make, make it doubt its own I self. Firebombs. Yeah, you've got lots of firebombs. Yeah, I got seven. And I don't know what's anything. Which, which isn't going to help us. Elixirs and dark vision. Okay. Can I not? Can I hide in this bush? Uh, yeah, your first action is to move. <laughs> Second action is to hide. Please roll me a stealth. Yeah. And that would be in the tower, please. In the tower. The adult at society. Get the right one. Okay, and what's your third action? I guess I'll just like re ready my sword. Your sword? Hold my sword in my hand. Yeah, wouldn't you want to raise a shield maybe? Yeah, that's what I meant to say. What are you talking about? That's exactly what I said. I want to raise my shield. Hey. I don't know what you're talking about, Tori. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's what, what I said. said. Mm -hmm. Solomon. I'm in the bush, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. Interesting. I don't really want to fight him. 
quite a, dra a drake, I'm not going to lie. I occupy this square. Yep. You're going to hide behind the rock? I'm going to snug up to the roof. First, I will sneak to the, the rock. rock. Okay. Because okay. that, that, I don't save on. on actually taking an action to hide. Oh, I see. So, skills. Where are you? There you are. I sneak to the rock. Okay. Welcome to the rock. And... Okay. Nope. I, uh, hmm. it's a big toe bean stretch. I'm gonna do a uh, big call knowledge. She said it's a fire drake. Fire drakes would be a notable creature in like an area's history. Mm -hmm. Would I be able to do society for that? Uh, no, it's gonna be in nature. Yeah, uh, no. Okay, I'll still do, I'll do nature still. Maybe I should have done that. That's smart. What do I want to ask? Are they known for hoarding treasure? Of course you would. Let me take a look. Or do we just try and sneak away? Well, then this is why I hide. You, um, I mean, yes. Um, so one of the things you do know about drakes is because they, they are wannabe dragons, they do try to hoard but it wouldn't be like a full dragon's hoard right it, it, they're they're known for hoard they, they, yeah, yeah yeah they're they're part of the the part of the dragon family so even if it's, it's only like half the size, the size <laughs> of like a dragon's hoard all right and that's everything for keys <laughs> oh that's only two right sorry i got 30 feet of movement now and uh no no, no. um Recall knowledge again. Are they intelligent? Wait, what did Gala do for your round? Um, I moved into the bush, I hid, and I raised my shield. I, uh, I take out a cookie. Oh, I okay. did that. I didn't think about eating a cookie. I just take it out. All right. Because you didn't actually do that, too. So. Oh, Blur. What was the purple jello shot again? Anti plague. Anti plague. Right. And then I have a poison. So you have 24 hour plus two fortitude versus poison for. Uh, disease. Do you want to have a defense, defense or an disease. offense disease. for Adela? Uh, what do you mean? You do, you, do you want to have resist fire? <laughs> oh, that's okay, buddies. The kitties were not happy with that. We have a thunder going, so. Or, or, or do you, you want to make your weapon a striking weapon? Uh, let's, so either a buff shield or a buff sword, babe? Yeah. Oh, the buff, buff it's resist, resist energy. energy. I think, yeah, my shield should get the extra. Oh, it doesn't give it to you. It gives it, or it does give it to your shield. It gives oh, you yeah. get resist give it to me. Which, which would then know. also protect all your gear yeah not anymore not yeah, anymore i had like two cushions out there oh, no. they're gonna be moist yeah moist, moist. i didn't know it's supposed to rain today uh so, it's supposed to rain all weekend uh, is it yeah it's supposed to rain like all the way till wednesday yeah on the balcony well, well i guess and i'm on the top floor so there's nothing above me Oh, it's really like my couch cushions that are airing out, so... You don't have a lid on your balcony, then yeah, yeah you're screwed. It doesn't even say it's supposed to rain today. Okay, well now it says isolated thunderstorms. But, but it did not... not... Oh, so that's isolated, isolated that, that might be up in this area. You yeah. might not get any. It is beautiful and sunny in my house. Wow. And, and hello, Awkward Mancer. Yeah, I don't know if uh, Rajola is in chat right now, but... Uh... Corey, can you reshare the map? I accidentally closed it because I'm... Yeah. Around, but... Why do you always do that? Because, because I'm, I'm used to, to running, running on Foundry, and it has completely different controls. It's only like we've been playing with Fantasy Grounds for like a year. Like, I don't know. I have to run, run two games in Foundry and play one, one in Fantasy Grounds. Grounds. All right. Oh, awesome. uh, so, so I guess I'm going to stride over <laughs> by Ordella. <laughs> okay. Family dragons. I like that. That's funny. And I am going to cast Resist Energy on her. And that's a two? Yep. Okay. Uh, so it's control click to target someone, right? Yep. Okay. You just untargeted her. Yeah, I was gonna say you just untargeted her. There you go. And then I cast resist energy fire on her. Fire. Okay. And then I untarget her, and that is it for me. I don't even get to hide. So, so you're, you're like, like you're, you're like stealth, stealth down, down hunkered down, down in the bush, and I'm like standing right beside you. Well, oh, and she thinks she is, oh, okay. and you're like you walk up to her, her, you're like. Here you go, resist. She's like, okay. Sienna. No. Concentrate and manipulate. I don't have to. Uh, every spell is verbal. Unless it, unless it, unless it says subtle. subtle. So I'm, I'm yeah. calling out in a loud voice. I protect you from fire! Be healed! And I, I, like, I like swarm up your body and smack you on the forehead. 
While, While you are hiding, hiding may you be protected from the yeah, exactly. of the street. Right here in this bush. <laughs> and then just, whoa, 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 whoa. And the angel's going, <laughs> 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 That was like hell. Because it's not a subtle spell. <laughs> yep. Yeah, pretty much they just got rid of it because every spell is verbal unless it says subtle. So right. literally it saves that much extra printing space every single time. Because, yeah. yeah. So, so by, by the way, way my bard... bard? That it, that my backup character has, has the, the performance, performance spell. Everybody have a backup character? Do you have a backup character? No. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> as part of his, if he casts the spell while he's performing, you can't tell it's a spell. No. I can't think that. All right. Anyway, uh, Sienna, what are we doing? Oh, after this many years. Yeah, you're, you're like. This is they run away from you. That I would never read as well. Yeah, exactly. I'll just. You know how many times that I'll just sponge off of that backstory. I you a novel. You did. <laughs> Our work at the same bar. All right, uh, Sandy, you're moving there? I wrote a full scene with dialogue. Like. <laughs> Our fantasy, <laughs> Our Warhammer fantasy group. I make a character. My buddy's like, oh, hey, we're from the same big region of the Empire. Maybe we're brothers. I love it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So I did all this work where I described our entire family. And kind of it's like when someone finds out you're Canadian, you're like, oh, do you know Bob from Toronto? You're like, yeah, he's dead. I have to remember that one. <laughs> oh, were you close to him? He's dead. dead. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, yeah. I seriously had someone ask me how the ride was down down from the ice at the, at the border. That's crazy. Oh, my. Yes, according to this, I can't see him. Like, I'm riding on my, my, my moves every day. Yeah. I feed him maple syrup that I freshly tapped from the tree. <laughs> freshly squeezed from the maple syrup. Berries. I wave to my neighborly beaver, and then I, uh, I'm coming up. I snow shoot. Right, Gwen, what are we doing? Like, what, 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 is this going to be high? Uh, I decided to ask me what I did with my sled dogs while I was down in the States. Oh, I've never heard that one. Yeah. Oh. Sorry, I'm very... Invested in, in the cat. Anyway. What what did you just fire at him? Okay, that's a two action. I'm assuming. Yeah. Oh my okay. goodness! Yes, was violent. violent. She did. And I'm like, oh shit! Oh shit! There he is. And he takes half damage. Yep. Moved up. Oh, there he is. <laughs> okay. Blast. So let me get this straight. The only uh, one that's not hiding, or the only one that is hiding, is the big dumb fighter. Oh, I'm not going to no, say, what is Tweak going to do? Because Tweak can can do an action move or whatever. I have a plus one in he's probably just continuing following me. Okay. So, go there. I mean, what's he doing? Okay. Well, I'm going to do that. 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 Mommy, what you doing? Boy, there's something. You're doing a stealth. Yes, we're working. But apparently the cat doesn't have as good a vision as I do, so I'm back. He's probably got low light. I listened to that song last night at like 11 or 12 o'clock. Why is it 2 p.m. today and it goes back in my head? Because he does that. I pulled up and I was listening to Rage Against the Machine. It was great. And I realized I need some angry music in my life. Would you like a playlist? No, you're reading. Oh, no, I've got a Spotify list of that. Hello. I was like, it's close. So, Gwen, isn't, isn't Art Drake's kind of an ancestral enemy for you? Oh, I live alone. Oh, okay. I don't live with anybody. Oh, I thought you had me. No, I live alone. No, but this is oh, my friend. Yeah, he has low light, not dark. Uh, yes, I can see the Drake cat because I have dark. Yeah. Aha, that's what uh, I had it as a, a window. Uh, aw. That uh, I had it as a window caption on a game couch. That's why it wasn't updating. That's Josephine. She's sleeping. That's cool. <laughs> Aw, poor Odin. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. All right. My Drake. That the basement's his happy space when there's when there's thunder. It used to be upstairs, but then you realize that that got him closer to the thunder. Yeah. He will fly to there. The thing to come up. 
charging. Yeah. 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 Oh, dear. This will, this will be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be just fine. Yeah. Fire all around. So, so much for the bottling them up in the cave. Why do we do that? Wow. Okay. So I think we're gonna work. So yeah, I guess you got a wall of fire, don't you? Yeah. Where's your wall of ice when you need it? I don't think there's one. I have a wall of thorns, but I don't think that would even slow it down. Yeah. Do you get the notification when I get a messenger? Is that what that is? It just happens that you get the little ding dong every time I get an, a, a message. He you cloned your phone. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm on, on the computer, computer but I'm logged in as me. It's my what? It's just casual ranting, ranting about underage marriage. marriages, I guess. Okay, go, go off, queen. Okay, hi, babe. Boss is not though. Yeah, that's uncalled for. I agree that it is uncalled for. Whoa, whoa, whoa! The second I saw you move that. Yep. <laughs> it, it, I hope it's a reflex. It comes storming out, sees a group of you, and goes, Whoa! And lets out a fireball breath. And it will catch everyone in its radius. You're welcome. I did that over my own protection. And now he's going to die. Yep. All right. I think we'd be disappointed if his opening move was not some sort of breath weapon. Probably. Comes out like that from the bottom out here. Oh. Oh, why, why is it so big? It's a 20 foot radius. It's <laughs> so 20 fireball feet off each like... side, same size as hers. Come here, baby. Come here. It's a soul. Come here. I thought I was kidding. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. You are. He just sees me behind you. And now he burns down the bush around you. There's only one eye. That gold worked really well. That was his engine. Yep. Okay, so failure, 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 failure. failure, failure. Sienna, ha Sienna half damage. Right. Almon, critical so, success. Nice. No damage. No damage. You and I, though, we're gonna need it all. <laughs> oh dear God. Holy crap! Oh, whoops! Hang on, that should have been one. No, it, 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 it only took the first one. It's twenty-three. Yeah, ninety-six damage. Yes. I was like, I'm dead. <laughs> That was a lot of dice. Playing with. I don't know. He keeps trying to get. I don't know, but this room hits seventh level. And who has two? Who has two thumbs in This guy. Not this guy. Who fuck? Who has two thumbs in his down almost half his hit points? This guy. Actually. I'm looking at seventy-six hit points, babe. Oh damn. Babe. I guess it's the third. Seventeen away from half your hit points. You can take another one of those. I guess it's the third of my hit points. You can take another one of those. No problem. Yeah, but I don't want it. No, 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 I don't want to. I don't want to. Oh. Take it away. It rolled everyone's damage separately. I love that. That's hilarious. That's why there were so many dice. Yeah, impressive. I, I, I thought, I'm, I'm like, did I? I only double clicked it. How, how come there's so many? But no, that's literally the damage to everybody. So zero to Solomon. Yeah, 28, which would have been 23 to Ordella, partially resisted because he had the five. 37 to uh, Tweak, he Ooh. took it all. Uh, Sienna took Sienna half damage, and Owen took all 23. Oh, I love it. That's that's fantastic. <laughs> I don't know if he can, though. But, I mean, he, he can try. Oh, I see. So she took half of 32? Yes, correct. All right. And that... Top of the round. So, so yeah, professor, professor, at the end of this, the end of this combat, combat, once we defeat the the, uh, the Drake, I'll uh, I'll cast magic hot tub. Hot tub. I was just saying, we'll get the hot tub. It's hot, hot, not tub. I cast it now, but it takes ten minutes. Like, whoa, 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 hold on, you just wait. Time out. Drake, would you like to get hot tub? I actually can because it can hold sixteen mediums, and then I think uh, a a large takes up four. Like, like, let's, let's just be right here. You're not in squares there. Corey's the Drake's not in. Oh. Yeah. If you, you don't, don't attack us, I'll make a hot tub. tub. That's, That's the win-win to me. Please. Back in the corner. We can, we can chill, chill out in the hot tub, tub and discuss this. this. All right. So, so that, that was, was, what, one action? For it? Yeah. Oh, no. That was that was a, a move and a... Uh, two actions? Uh, yeah. I presume that was two actions. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Was. Was. All right. So we're back to Ardella. Are we back to Ardella? It says that it's your turn. Oh, it does, too. All right, let's how, how, how do I know how far I am? Though? Get in there. Get stuck, stuck in. in. Well, if you target it, well, it'll actually tell you how far away you are. 50. Remember, every second diagonal is 10 feet, not 5. Yeah, but it says 50 feet, so is that not oh, yeah. just 50? Does range count? I don't remember if range uses that. Or is it just movement? I don't remember. Anyways. And I did say there's a distance between 
between her and it. Too. No, I know. I just. Sudden charge. That's what I was saying. Twice right? the movement. And that's good. Twice. 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 You can totally get there. Okay, sick. That's, that's where exactly where I was going with that. Okay. Well, then, yeah. Be All right, so double action in his face. All righty. And then next thing, sudden charge. Uh, not two hand, thank you. Just one. Mm, no, no. That's a hit. Oh, of course. That's rough. What would you like to do for your third action? She's like, she's like, oh. Oh, we haven't altered it. That's why. Oh. How do I? Okay. One second. Let me. Uh, should be yes beside it. Should be possible. That drink in the sound really sounds like it's got a bad sinus infection. Because you get three because you're master in the weapon. Does Carly know how to do it? If you're the worst of proficiency, you would not make an M and seven E. Your no, your proficiency should be uh, M as well. So that needs to go up by one. Okay. And then under your damage. Where it says bonus, add add uh, three to that. So it should oh. be. Yeah, you're not the one. Yeah, so it should be plus four. Ah! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> this one. Make it a four? Correct. Okay. I'll uh, I'll work on your two hand one. I can do okay. it quick. Oh, yeah, that's. Okay. You did that way faster than I did that. I also know my way around real fast, so. So then it's. Seven, eight, nine? So we should have done an extra four damage to it. Yeah. Uh, oh, actually, hang on a second. Four is not a crit. Okay. Uh, but an extra three damage to it is that. Okay. My, my two attacks went up as well. Correct. All right. And that was, uh, sorry, what was your third third action? Ray shield. Hey, please click on that. Yeah, it's All right. Solomon. Where is my super suit? Why do you need it? That woman, where's my super suit? Not be all done. <laughs> the public is in danger. Not even is in danger. Not be all done. Solomon moves twice. Woo! Nice. Hey. Okay. Oh, dang. Now, now we're flanking him. him. Dang it. Oh, because we're side by side. Yep. yep. Also, so somebody get on the opposite up. side of him to where you are. That's also so pretty fly. I need a different song. I wish I had my headphones. I would just play a song. Yes, he is flat footed. And I will stab him with my filter fork. Quick draw, stab. I got that stupid stone head song stuck in my head again. Thanks, Jonathan Rivers. What was that? So, our newest apprentice has figured out that me and the other journeyman get songs stuck in our head very All right, Solomon, what are we doing? I don't normally. So I very, very deliberately. Oh, yep. Sings catch or sings or plays catchy songs when he's near us. Flat footed again? Yep. And, wait, just and it'll wait apply it. your damage. Okay. It never adds backstab or there should be. Okay. Because it only happens when it's flat footed or off guard to me. Command tweak to punish me? That's. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, that's that's everything. Well, so I'm going to have to touch him. I wonder if I can put that in under your, uh, your IFT. Damage equals 2d6 plus 1. I wonder if I can do that. Oh. Or just IFT flat footed damage 1. I think, oh, and you're still sitting at wounded. Whoops, hang on. You should not have the wounded condition. You definitely don't have dark vision. Nope. Okay. Uh, oh, and. Sorry, right, I just realized that some of these things have to go away. Wounded 3 goes away on Ardella. Oh, yeah. Guidance goes away on Ardella. Good girl. Let me see if anyone else has anything weird they want to take change. off. No, okay. All right, uh, and that's it, uh, Keith. Yep. All right. Oblar. Is sent. Right. I guess that's 10 because I'm in the bush, right? It's probably a poor choice, but. Uh, no, you're actually, well, if you just go straight north, you'd be a five foot because you're leaving the. If you walk through, it's 10. If you just leave it, you're. Don't forget you're holding the cookie. There's a reason why I took the gang. Was doing this. Did you eat it? I haven't eaten my cookie. Otherwise, it would have been a single move to get where I am. Okay. And then two action. You're just holding it. I should have ate the cookie. I totally forgot. There you go. Because you could have ate the cookie and then moved. Yep. Instead of two moves, it would have been one. Retcon? Could it be your retcon? Well, then wouldn't it still have been actually eat the cookie? Yeah, but then you would. Then you'd have an extra move. Otherwise, it's not extra movement. Like, like it would still take a chance. Okay. Further. Sienna. What's up? 
Put up less. Uh, it's currently got a 10 15 foot radius. I will try to increase it as we go. Oh, that reminds me. I actually haven't set your, uh, your aura. Your aura. Hang on one second. I need. I need to open up a Oh, because I have my here. Yeah, it's your. Uh... Marshall. Marshall aura. Marshall aura. Yeah, I just gotta find it. I'm in it. I'm in it. I'm in it. Yeah, you are. It is a dragon, so it probably does something with fear. I would assume so. Who's got the shot? Oh, when it's bringing the. I made, when I made Indiana Jones, he has a crap will save because oh, two, Indiana Jones had a crap will save. Good I'm thing sure. it's got a plus point four on it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Jesus, Jesus Kalima, Kalima, <laughs> Kalima, right there. It's just one example. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm so dead. Send fleet forward to to commence. Oh, what's, what's her face? Okay. Willy, is that who we're talking about? No. Uh, so, so, uh, or... Miriam or whatever her name is. Marion, yeah. She yeah. had a really bad run. Yeah, she did. Climbing into the plane while nobody's looking. <laughs> we call that impulse control issues. Oh. Low wisdom. He had a wisdom of plus zero all the way to uh, 15th level. Large? He's large, absolutely he is, yeah. Uh, like, yeah, thank you. <laughs> I'm pulling that up right now. Or like, can I shove him back into the... Uh, oh, and it's uh, a save and an attack, right? Yes. For you need to build me a quick button for that. What do you think would you raise your shield for your third action, didn't you? Oh, sorry, Gwen, you need me to... Target with tweak. Do that so you can continue along. And I'm just trying to finish off. When I let go to third action. In this situation, good idea. Are you full plate? Half, half plate. Pretty oh, yeah, the Raven. Raven. One, the Raven's guard. Okay. Seven whole points. Yeah, yeah. half plate. Seven, 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 seven points is seven points. Plus one half plate. Oh, and I think I forgot it's, my foot, I think. You've got all the plus ones. <laughs> plus, one dagger, plus one dagger, plus one half plate. And there's a magical uh, cold iron faster sword that we found in the trolls. Hasn't been identified yet. Oh. A whole bunch, bunch of stuff that hasn't been identified from the trolls. Yeah. Would the dragon be flat-footed to tweak where he is now? Is the faster sword? Or... That's what I had. Um, I don't know if he can be. He totally is. Yeah, he totally is. Unfortunately, as he goes in that way, the dragon reacts. Fritz. All right, uh, Tweak can go ahead and attack. Tweak the new knock knock. I already did. Oh, and damn it! Yeah, you shot an extra D4. Yep. Yep. Just roll a D4 because you're right. I didn't walk him past the guy's nose. I went around. Yes. Hang on. Show me how you got him in there. Right here. Yep. Okay. Yep. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30. And right there, that's where the AO comes in. The one right before him. Yeah, when he moves from that bottom square to that square, that's where he gets the attack. So roll your d4 for your extra damage. Yeah. For precision. Perfect. Nice. Nice. Okay. And that's Tweak. Tweak did 11 points of damage. Tweak did more damage than I've All right. Just, just so, so you know, know the game that works with Tweak too, it doesn't need to be right across from you. You could have stopped where. A diagonal and not taken. Uh, the rake goes into a draconic frenzy. Gets to strike twice with its fangs and once with its tail in any order. Yes. So, Ordella's getting one fang. Yeah, no shit. Guess I should have done that with my recall. Does he have any special attacks? Yeah. Does he have any treasure in there? Quinn. Is this fight going to be worth it? That's what I ask. Is this fight going to be worth it? Well, now we know one thing. One more thing about dragons. Sorry. Yep. Why did he? Yeah. Yeah, he not critted, but it didn't actually. Yeah, yeah. But you don't have anyone targeted. But it didn't roll the. No, I have her targeted. Oh, I know why, because I rolled it on his thing instead of here. All right, let's roll it again. It's fine. No. I don't want to roll it again. That's even worse. <laughs> oh, shit. No. Uh, his second attack will be on uh, Solomon, and he will hit you with also the fangs. Uh, it's a hit. Straight hit. And his third attack is going to be against the cat. 
Swat him with the tail. Oh, Crit. He does not like Tweak. tweak. Dude, we're rolling 20 after 20. Oh, oh Tweak's, tweak's down. down. Tweak's down. Yeah, of course he is. That was only two actions. He has a third. That is one. Woo! Okay! He uses his speed surge. Oh, we knew it. And flies over there. What? I'm going to uh, attack. Yep. Reactive strike. Yeah. Reactive strike, you sure do. Does range damage. I would hope so. Yeah, but I'm going to try and keep my cat alive. I, I meant me, actually. That's it. 35 and you didn't even crit. Ouch. Yeah, I know. Ouch. For real. All right. And that is top of the round. Which is me. Okay, he's 70 feet from me. I cannot get there. Oh, oh you can, but that's all you can do. I take out my cookie. And I eat my cookie. Okay. That's two yeah. actions. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Movement. So then they got 30, 30 feet of movement. So then I get, oh, 60. I still can't get all the way there. But I can... And then is he up in the air, or did he land? Oh, he, he flew up and landed. Okay. I, okay. I don't believe they can do. They can land if they don't have hover, or they can keep flying. So, yeah, I don't. I'm. I'm not really sure. I've never had a big flying creature before in this. I know in 3.5 and stuff you had to have hover, and Pathfinder's built on 3.5. So. He's halfway in a square. I'm not sure about. Oh, it's that stupid outer ring. It is after the ring. The ring does it to me too. Yeah. I don't know where There we go. Okay, so if I'm, I'm still gonna beat 30 feet. Five, ten. 15, 20, 30. Okay, and that's Ardella. Yeah. Solomon. The next round, I can sudden charge him. Assuming he doesn't move. Well, I'm, I'm now more central, central, so wherever he moves, it's theoretically. Yeah, true. Solomon, well, I'm gonna go in and kill him to charge him while he's so far away. <laughs> <laughs> well, that'd be one way to get him back to his cave. Yeah, well, I'm very honest. Actually, that's a good fucking idea. <laughs> 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 I was joking, but he. <laughs> uh, the first turn that his mouth is the one of the dragon. Rob mentioned his sugar. Did I make any? Did I make any? I can smell your fingers. Yeah, yeah. Like that? I did make dark fusion elixirs. I swap. Nice. You're not actually swap. She does the elixir roll. Yep. A. I don't, I don't know, know. It's an eyeball candy. Okay. Ooh. And then I eat my eyeball, eyeball candy, candy, giving myself dark, dark vision. Okay. So that's two actions. Mm -hmm. And then I run into the cave, yelling the entire time, I'm going in the cavern, get in the treasure. <laughs> and I'll, uh... Get in the treasure. <laughs> I, I see that in, like, the first ten feet of movement. Then after that, I'm going to sneak. Okay. Ten... Oh, I don't have dark vision. Oh, I have to put it on you. You should. Sorry. I, I, I should. You eat the cookie. Not me a cookie, I give you a cookie. Should be a confectioner, not a cook. You do get a lot of cookies. Oh, I washed wash that. that up here. You put, put that on Omar, though, not on Solomon. Oh, whoops. What are you doing? What are you doing, Step DM? What? What? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> no. Uh, is you done? Uh, yeah, for the. Uh, Wait a minute. Yeah. Um. Will, <laughs> Almost uh, as if you guys used all your points last game. How weird. I will maintain my plus, which increases it to a 25. Uh, okay, one second. Does the Drake cast divine spells? You would have to. Uh, well, because it depends on. Well, I guess maybe I'll roll. You'd have to uh, recall knowledge on that. Well, actually, the DM has to let me know either way, but eventually, if I actually get it. It's not giving me dark vision. I can't see shit in here. Is it because you're in the wall, my guy? Ah, he takes half damage. Uh, so, so this, this is, is why I need to know. Crisis of Faith does no. 68 mental if he casts divine spells. He does not. As a, okay, so as a 68. And in its head, making it doubt itself. 15 feet of my movement. I was going to look for a place to hide in here. It's wide open. There's no place to hide. All right. So, oh, and that's all three. Beside, is there a bit of a wall besides the entrance that I can get? To? Mm, one square to your uh, to your right, the so left of the uh, map, west. Over here? Yep. Right here? Yep, yep. right there. Yep, that's, that's what I do. I sneak into there. there. So okay. I'll give you a stealth. All right. Sienna. 
Sullivan doesn't get it too far away. Did you increase the area of my aura? Thank you. Still have the dragon targeted, do I not? Yes, I do. I want to heal. I'm going to heal. I'm just trying to figure out which one to use. Which one are you looking for? I'm like, what are you trying to do? Two action has the range of 30 feet, so minimum I have to do that to get sweet. Okay. And it's a three yeah. action, it's a 30 foot emanation. What's, um, okay. What does emanation mean? It, it, it gets everyone in a circle. It extends from you. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I see. But it's just 1d8. Yeah. Correct. Whereas, Whereas the other one's 1d8 plus a bonus. Oh. I feel like that one's fine too. There, there we go. go. It's not actually healing, but it's the only other thing. I see. Well, if you do the. The, the second one, the concert, or the yeah, two action, is that just for one person? Yes, yeah. yes it is. Yeah, one person range. So, so single action is touch, two yeah. action is ranged, but it gets a bonus, and then a three yeah. action is First the action is just a D8, but sorry. it's everyone. First action next turn is battle medicine. Uh, I'll do the three action. I have nothing to use my third one for anyway. Nice. Is he within range? Oh, yeah. The only one that's out of range is him. Okay. Because he just ran into the gate. So you can target us all and click the, the run one for the for the touch of an action. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like I want to go in there. I <laughs> Maybe I want to go look for treasure. I watched you run in. I'm like, well, you're looking for treasure. Well, what's the third one? Oh, that's not the damage. I'm just going to lure him back inside. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, yeah so you, you just use the healing from the first line. Allow there you go. Me, or, there you go. Uh, and technically, doesn't it also do it on her as well? Or is it just allies in the burst? Oh, yeah. yeah. I'll just put six on you. That's fine. Or remove six, I should say. Yes, it would. Let me add six. All right, again. He will speed surge to there. Yeah. And then draconic frenzy. Does he have reach? Because he's not in the again. You're not squares. It's that outer glow that keeps reaching. Um, you notice the tail. So you have to be able to reach around, but the fangs are are neck size. Uh -huh. And he fires off everything at Ordell. Uh, like, like a library, library he, does, got, he doesn't, doesn't have the four <laughs> claws and, and four limbs and he's got four into my hot like tub. Yep. Right, um, so his, he's hang thing. thing. No, he has to, he'd have to move around the square. Entering is fine. It's yeah. the it's the motion so after. Yeah. Leaving out. Yeah. Leaving yeah. Five E, you're safe to dance around people in 5e as long as you don't leave their reach, not in Pathfinder. If you had a full arm now, he would take an opportunity attack as he passes through your uh, first square of reach. Yeah. Second attack. Ooh, it's a miss. And the tail. Wow, he gets all those at full. Oh, miss. Yeah, that's only two actions. And he moved. That was all three. Yeah. And he gets all three of those at full, though. But now the next one is at minus 10. Correct. Oh, yes, absolutely would be. But he, he moved and then went into his uh, Draconic Frenzy. Yeah. yeah. And then all, all, all the math is added on uh, this attack. Gwen Tweet can also do his own action. Oh, and I should uh, I have to remove stuff off him. Hang on. Because you can trigger his... Uh, Tweet could have... Uh, if he comes to you. But that also, also bunches the three of us up quite yeah, nicely from Fireball. No, I'm gonna... I'm, he's gonna go sit, sit in the place over here. Lick his wounds. Yeah. All right. Top of the round, Odella. It's in your face! Yeah. All you see out of the bush is one leg pop up. You're like, ah, no! Really? Flying bowler! <laughs> yeah, he got ripped a new one. Oh, it's a miss. All right. Firing off the, the hero point. That's the hit. All right. Can you check and see if the bless is adding to her? Should be able to break that down. Yeah, she's in the aura. Okay. Is it, well, it be what, plus one to oh, hang on. Uh, what? Yeah, it should be up. So it's only doing plus eight, like normal. Yeah, hang on. I I missed a coin. Uh, it, it wouldn't. It wouldn't crit. No. Uh, twenty nine would hit, but it won't crit. So. Twenty five. The twenty five. Yeah. No, it will not hit. So we know it's at least AC 26. Literally. Jesus Christ. Yes, because yes, 35 did not crit. Yeah. I'm just moving you for a second. want to make Wait, sure you? that... I have, I have two actions. Oh, okay. Um, Out of there. 
Attack uh, once and miss. Attack the second time and hit. There we go. Now it's in. Now it's in. Oh, you just reroll. Okay. Yeah. I guess I should be using my white one because it's my regular one. Yeah. The red one's my second one. Yeah, no, I reroll one of those. Screw that. Okay, there we go. Okay. Use the red one because we'll go back to Corey. I just had to move you guys out and back in to make the aura work properly. So. So you pass that over here. Oh, that's bad. Next, you can give one to Owen so he remembers. There you go. There you go. All right. Uh, Ordella, so. Uh, yeah. So I swing and hit. Yep. Yeah, I should just put that chip in my lunch kit. I always bring my lunch kit. So. Hmm? We do what I do. I just leave it on the table. Second action. I'm trying to decide if I want to stay here or keep me. Or if I wish to move. You're going to use your hop down attack. Oh. Can't do any flying if he's on the back. Well, you could, but you'd have to spend. He has to stand up. Yeah. Yes, it is. Well, I can knock you out. You're still, still good to do knock off your second attack. Knock off, Alex. Okay, that's all for the strike. This strike obviously will be the second one, right? Correct. Yeah, this is with your second attack. Yeah. If it hits, then I do the attack. Correct. Yep. Right order. Fall and see. Hits. Ooh, yes. yeah. So do your damage yeah. and then do the knockdown check. Knock down. No ice. And then there's no, no map, map on the knockdown attempt. Correct. Uh, it still would work on her second map. It, it would it would yes. tie the second one. Yes. Yeah. Where are you at, Trip? And you should hit map on your thing because it should be on your map too. Your multi action penalty. Uh, look at your combat tracker at the top. Does it say MA number two? Yeah. So click that and then hit your trip. I don't know if it says that on your guys' or not. Oh, yeah, the initial tracker. tracker at the top should say menu, then it should say MA2, MA3. Up at the top corner, Pull, you're too, you got it too high, that's why. Lower it. Oh, you need that. No, just, just click on it. There you go. And now do your uh, trip. It'll add in your multi tracker. Yes. Nice. Ooh. Can I move where those are? Is that a thing? No. No, okay. you should be able to click on a, the little star now, and it should make it prone. Yep, yep. just like that, it is prone. All right, you still have a third action. So that be oh, it, it is slam down a two? Yeah. There we go. All right, Ordell's done. Solomon. Loot. Start stuffing your, stuff in your, in your pouch. If none of else, if the rest of us die, you can run over here with money and get us raised. He's not listening to me, though. Drake is going for Ordella. If you start fucking around with his treasure, I feel like he'll hear it. He laughs. That is exactly what I do. I'm looking for treasure. Okay. Uh, perception check. I'm like, he laughs. Start throwing it around. Oh, a cup. Garbage. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Plus two on that. No, it's only for creatures. Oh, that's the unfortunate thing. His treasure. Okay. I'll just roll perception dice tower. She's so cute. So cute. So. Over in the far corner, so kind of like right here-ish, uh, you do see a small pile, but it looks to be uh, some broken uh, equipment. Uh, looks like uh, some bundles of cloth, and you see a little bit of metal peeking out underneath the uh, bundle of bundles of cloth. So you're thinking it's probably its nest, but it's built. But there's pr yeah, probably something under it. <laughs> I'm a horror. I don't have a lot of good stuff in my horde. I will move. We'll see a whole lot of fun. 5, 15, 30. Okay. And then. And unpainted. Unbuilt, unpainted. Uh, 5, 15, 20 into, into the, the middle, middle of the nest. nest. Okay. Yep, yep. And, uh,. Unfortunately, I don't have any actions, but so while I'm moving, can I intentionally bump into stuff and make a noise? Yeah, you, you definitely, you hear it echoing and scraping and stuff. Okay. Uh, you kind of trip over the little pile of, of stuff in there. You hear a rattling. And um, while, I, while I'm doing that, I'm like, ooh, treasure! As loud as I can. Okay. Uh, it's also not working for his Yeah. Oh, okay. I clicked on to see what you, what you could see, see and uh, you can see nothing. I can see it. But I can, can see, see enough, enough from the light outside, outside that I can see I'm just going to do this to you. There, you now have light on you. Nice. And now I know that it'll work, so. Yeah. Something's up with the uh, my coding for yeah, dark. Yeah, we're in there, bumping into stuff intentionally, intentionally, and the whole time I'm moving, I'm saying, Woo! Treasure! Woo! And let me see here. I need... Where is 
skill. Oh, that's funny. I can, like, yelling it. Um, or Deli. So you, you knock it, it's slammed on the ground, and you hear Solomon rattling, and you see the Drake go, hmm, and stare into its cave. Which means... Uh, Solomon, that's all your action. Oblar. All right. What am I going to do? Something awesome. Wow. Wow. I didn't feel myself. You didn't lick your wounds? Nope. Oh, oh no. I need you to find it and then use two moves. I, I can't see you to heal you. Okay. Indiana, here I got a bunch of fighters. Dr. Jones, Dr. Jones. We will be very different, yeah. Well, they would be totally, they would be totally different. All right. Well, what are we doing? Yeah. Using a whip. Whip? Uh, I don't know if we ever set up a, a spiritual arm room for me, but I do old large version of a dick, dick knife. Dick knife! <laughs> uh, it's a bowl, right? <laughs> yeah, his favorite <laughs> enemy. Fire <laughs> weapon is a bowl, but it's supposed to be a missile. Or a oh, okay, so. Probably so, a club. So, yeah. For the melee weapon for a... Uh, Civilization, a staff, or a club. And that is a two action. There you go. It's gonna do. Oh, the hunt it might be a spear. spear. No, the hunt part would be. Oh, oh that's actually kind of It's going to do. Oh, let's say the spear damage. So it's gonna attack. Oh, oh actually, actually, it's. Uh, it doesn't appear on the thing because what it. They changed it. It's basically an item. Looks like an item in my hand that I throw each round. Yeah. Oh, okay. So. Uh, and I, I missed. Excuse me while I whip this out. As, as oh. Every time you sustain it, you make an attack with it. Correct. And you get so much sustaining. Two actions. Well, he doesn't, he doesn't have, have to sustain, sustain the blessing. No, he doesn't. No. Just if he wants, his, if he wants the aura to be larger. Yeah. Yep. I used up all my good attacks. I get a critical miss, rolling a three. Wah wah. I shoot a doll on the back. Whoa. Rude. All right. Orblar done. Orblar done. Sienna. I'm gonna ask a silly question. Didn't you prep that water jet thing? Well, yeah, your fourth level spell. <laughs> I was thinking when I was in the bathroom, I should have done my heal as a fourth level spell. What did you do that? Draw a question. Somebody was water. It's a stream of water. It's a fire hose. You literally, it does some damage. You could potentially push it back. That's on a straight line, battling creatures. She can move first. Only two action cast. Oh, right. The, the downside, downside is if you push it, if you push it away from Ordella, then she can't do her opportunity attack when it's You don't have to push. It, it also, I believe, has to critically fail to actually get pushed. Oh, okay. But it also is a ton of fucking well, damage, a, so. It's a good damage yeah. spell. Yeah. I move, like, like unintended objects on attacking back five feet, ten feet on a critical. Okay. All right, so first thing you gotta do is just move. Like, is not also, like, Sorry. a bad thing, necessarily? Oh, it's it still has to do its action. Yeah, but you saw what it did when I started making noise. And then it's a uh, cast on it. Yep, then it's a straight line. It'll make you. It'll get a little bit wet on one side. If it's probably... It'll make you moist. If it gets up, so first of all, it has to get up before it can move, unless it crawls. Getting That's fine. I don't think half the players here are completely paying attention either, so it's all good. <laughs> well, you succeeded. Oh, no, a large dragon succeeded. That's fine. I didn't, didn't shoot. Why did you start sending dice? I only have the dragon targeted. Who else got targeted? You. Yeah. You got yourself targeted, apparently. Now you do. Now you don't. That's fine. Uh, it doesn't make any sense. It's all yep. good. I can't push myself with my own water anyway. The dragon succeeded. So the dragon succeeded. It's still going to take half damage. So where are you damage? Oh. So many die. Well, it's 86 plus next. I mean, nice. So what's half? You'll go for 20. And it should take the extra damage as well. It's just because it's cold and it's an older version, so. Uh, oh, seriously? He killed it. He killed it. He was my water? Yep. It, it's, it, it, it's the weakness actually killed it. It had 130 out of 140 points. Then the extra 10 damage had to be added on. 140 out of 140? Dead dragon. I mean, <laughs> yay! Good, good job! job. Fire hose for the win! Yeah. Fire hose for the win! And all, all, all you hear from inside the cabin. cabin. Ooh, treasure! Crash, bang, crash, yeah. bang, bang. Yeah. You can stop now. You can stop now. No, I don't want to go see what's in there. Ooh, treasure. Ordella and the dragon go...
I still bother. I start casting my my hot tub of healing. Ten minutes. But you do have to wait in there for one hour. Because it takes an hour, I believe. Unless, <laughs> unless we saw a sign that it has a meat, we're probably <laughs> safe here. Are there any eggs you can discover? <laughs> no, you do not see any eggs. So we see tracks of a second. Um, I also take my little light out. I have light on me. That's all. I think I can just put light on Solomon. It's good enough. Once, Once I'm, I'm done, done casting? casting? Yep. In my little... Head of the, the, the dragon. Uh -huh. Drake. Drake. With, 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 my, with my dagger. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You are there for a long time. I think you might want to get in the hot tub before that. Yeah. Break lively. All right. Uh, yo, go away. Uh, so, search the cavern. All right. So yeah, when you search the cavern, you find a ratty, looks like a well laid on cloak, a... Longbow without a string nice. and a chain shirt with a small hole in it. Nice. Hole made by the arrow that killed the guy in the chain shirt. It might be a tooth mark as well. No, no <laughs> monetary. No, no coins at all. It only had uh, a few small baubles. So when you drag it all out after I'm done casting my hot tub spell, I'll do detect magic and read aura. All right. Well, well we're, we're soaking, soaking in the hot tub. tub. We'll identify. Yeah. Stop. Right. Soaking in the hot tub. <laughs> Two dudes in the hot tub. Five feet apart because we're not gay. <laughs> well, we want to get in the hot tub, too. Five feet apart because we're not gay. <laughs> it's it's fine. fine. There's room for all of us. And the cat. There's room for 16 people in the hot tub. That's a hell of a big hot tub. It's, it's like an all sit. It's a great to join us in the hot tub. Yeah, it could have. I'm gonna cut me some Drake steaks when we're done soaking in the hot tub. Well, that sounds yummy. Because he looked like he had big juicy hind legs. Sweet sounds better now. Ooh, Solomon does too. So does Ardella. Soaking in the hot tub, man. Soaking in the hot tub. Okay. Um. Can I take a dragon scale with me? Just for shits and giggles? Or a Drake scale? Sure. Yep. I want to take two of them. I'm going to make little pals. Give me a survival check, please. Pauldrons. Yeah. Or epaulets. Epaulets. Yeah. If you want just decoration. They're just for decoration. With ta tacits, actually, would probably work better. Tacits are down. Yeah, hanging down. Yeah. Well, yeah. the scale's probably better. And they're not really, he's not that big. It's not like you got like a scale this no, big. No, I it's it's like, yeah, yeah. You got like, like yeah. Yeah, a little, little decoration. Uh, that would be a uh, Drake Haggis. Oh, All right, give me one second now. Sorry, Scotland, but it is not a delicacy. I just, I'm gonna just cut off the the scales, and then I give them to someone who can do crafting to make them for me. One second, Obler. Yeah, I'll take a few. How many glasses? I'll be there and cut them. Maybe we can make a. Maybe we like cool armor. Or a shield. Ooh. Le the armor would be like leather armor, so. Yeah. But a shield would be potentially resistant to fire. Well, also that you can keep skin and butcher the dragon. Yep. For real. For real. For real. Wow. Someone else go. Not me, I'm gonna be cutting. It's just, I bet you're drinking your drink today. You're still just trying to cut the hell. sitting in the hot tub and his ears are back, but he's enjoying it because he's actually getting healing. It's warm and it feels good. Warm and feels good, but I'm wet. I think it's really like water. Yeah, I think it's like water. I've seen tigers, man. Yeah, tigers. They catch fish. Tigers are actually faster in the water than they are on land. What? Tigers are crazy. They're super good swimmers. Just as like kitties have web, web feet, so they can swim. Yeah. Or hunting a uh, caiman in South America. In the All right. Uh, oh, and I've added uh, the bless effect to you now. So when you cast it, um, use the bottom one. It says aura 25 ally. Or sorry. Yeah, 25. 15. Holy smokes. Nice. That be a composite longbow. It and, is. And an unidentified <laughs> item. Is that what I found in the kennel master's place? Correct. I'm going to identify that one. Oh. <laughs> so I'll cast uh, Detect Magic. I got two different titles. Yeah. 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 But I like this one. There's so many possibilities. There is. I like the last one the best. Let's go skin a dragon up to the high stakes. It's all magical. Nice. The chain shirt, the cloak, and... 
and the bow is a composite okay. log. How do we did find this game again? again? So it takes ten minutes, and it's a crafting check. Uh, but you have to have magical crafting as a. Yeah, it's magical tra- crafting, but you use the skill. Correct. That would be appropriate, like arcana or. Yep. Uh, oh, okay. Or nature or cultism, depending okay. on the, the type of spell that made the yeah. item. Yeah. Mostly yeah. arcana. Yeah. I, well, yeah, no, I'll, really I'll also allow a, a, a craft. If you have craft magic, then absolutely you can use the craft magic yeah, instead. So there's a feat called Crafter's Appraisal that lets you craft, uh, use crafting to identify magic items. Okay. And it only works on items. Uh, okay, so hang on, sorry. We're going to look at the items. Whoa! Well, no, wrong thing. Well, this is the religion I'm going to suck That's a decent skill feat for you to take. I might have to, yeah. All right, so what are we trying to identify? First, let's do the. Uh, there, there's a composite longbow. Uh, Keith, you found a broken bastard sword in the pile. Oh, there was a broken bastard sword too. Yep. Oh, sorry, that was the uh, the thing in your. Oh no, sorry, it was that one. Um, stringless longbow. Which is a stringless a longbow. longbow. Yep. There is a uh, broken uh, iron bastard sword. There is the cloak. There is a. Um, Let's do the cloak. trinket, and that's what you found. And there's also a ring. We'll start, we'll start with the, the uh, cloak and the shirt. Sorry, the the chainmail. All right, start with the cloak. Yeah. yeah. One I'll second. Start, I'll start with the unidentified, unidentified item, item that I found in the kettle master's cave. He's going to do them one at a time because he's got to tell us what kind of yep. role it is. Okay, so we're doing we're doing okay. we're doing the cloak. So the cloak is a arcana check, please. I guess in the tower. Too late. Sorry. That's fine. Solomon, you identify it as a cloak of elven kind. Ooh, is my people. So the cloak is has a two uh, two action interact once per day. You draw the hood up and gain the effects of invisibility with the spell's normal duration or until you pull the hood back down, whichever comes first. If you're also wearing boots of elven kind, you can uh, activate it twice per day. That's what I said. The cloak gets, gets wet, wet and, and Solomon turns invisible. invisible. <laughs> Here. Then it takes off all of his clothing. Oh, of course. Just kidding on that part. All right, uh, Heath, you are trying to. Your, your clothes become become visible, become visible, become visible as you take them off. One second. All right. The unidentified, unidentified item. Yeah. Once yes. you discover that an item location or ongoing effect is magical, you can spend ten minutes to try and identify the particulars of its magic. Heath, the item you found was a tiger, formed of pewter. Looks interesting. Give me a. <laughs> it is an arcana for sure. Oh, show. I agree. I don't know. I don't know what you're doing. All right. Keith, you know that this is a. It's a talisman. Oh. And it is. Um, it gets attached to a weapon. When you activate the tiger, the affixed weapon gains the sweep trait for the triggering attack. And all other attacks for one minute. That's pretty good. I'll borrow uh, uh, Ordello's bastard sword as soon as I can. Next time we're doing daily oh, preparations. I was not paying attention. I'm so sorry. Okay. I will give you a talisman. Oh, sick! Thank you. It gives your weapon. All right. Uh, what other items would you like to look at? Uh, the ring next. The ring. Okay. I do six while we'll we sit in the hot tub for an hour. All right. Tiger um, Manuki talisman. Magical ring. It is. A cult. Oh, oh cult. I, I never, never ever thought I'd use this. I thought I was trying to tell us a week down of cult. You just um, make it. Oh, no, sorry. Oblar gets that one. Let's drink the oh, and so does Solomon. You both put your heads together. You hear the ring for ages. Okay. Uh, twisting the ring around your finger allows you to magically throw your voice with the effect of ventriloquism. What's a ventriloquism ring? The elegant <laughs> copper ring has miniature images of songbirds engraved around the circumference. You also gain a plus one item bonus to deception checks. Uh, not me. Oh. I can make it for... I may have to start increasing my deception skill. All right, there's three more items. I have a plus 12 to deception. The bow? The bow, absolutely. Give me one second. What else did we... Sorry, what else is there left of... Hey, uh, the bow is Arcan. Arcana. Arcana. Oh, oh, there's a crit. There you go. Look at me. You're using up all my Yeah, I was going to say. Wonderful. Yeah, for the things that we don't really. <laughs> and Solomon rolls half that and gets uh, the same result. That's funny. Um, You know that this. Why am I not? Oh, I see. 
Are you rolling hidden checks? Uh, uh, yeah, I think it is, it is hidden anyway. Okay. I don't see any of these. I keep forgetting that. That's fine. Roll. So this weapon is made from horn, wood, and sinew laminated together to increase the power of its pull. It is a plus one. Excuse me, composite longbow. Can I just put one of my spare strings on it? Yep. Okay. Very easy to do. We'll do that. And then I'll hand it to probably Ardella. It's taller than you. So, so is my bow. bow. Yeah. <laughs> like, can I just put that in the comps if I have now the comps are plus one? What I'll do is I have them all here, and once you guys figure out who's getting what, I just put the name in and hit sort, and it'll fire it down to you guys. So I'm going to have a plus one sword, a plus one dagger, a plus one half plate, and a plus one bow. Yeah, that's... <laughs> That's what you want. You want your fighters to have that. There's a chain shirt and the broken bastard sword. Oh, it's broken, but it's still magical. Correct. Okay, so chain shirt. Chain shirt. Okay. Arcana, please. No, yeah, yeah. It just takes basically ten minutes per. So, and you guys have to sit in the hot tub for an hour anyway. Hot tub. All right, Solomon. Once again, uh, realizes this is a plus one chain shirt. So it's Frodo's. <laughs> it is not Mithril. Stripping the rune off of that. So it's a plus one what? Chain shirt. And that's like a Can you wear a chain shirt? It's noisy. So I, I can't can strip the rune off. She can't wear metal. On my leather. I, I can't have... wear armor. You've got better armor. So you can just take the rune off of it? I'm going to strip yeah. the rune off yeah, of it and put it on someone else's armor. And then maybe we can just sell the... No, we can oh. sell the chain shirt, but yeah. it's a chain shirt. It's a chain shirt. It's a chain shirt. Yeah. And the last thing is the is bastard that sword. Is that an arcana? It is. Arcantia. No, it's an arcan check. Arcantia? Not, arcan not arcantia. Check. You do not know. Oh, so, so it, it is arcantia. arcantia. Yeah, it is arcantia. <laughs> we can do it again, but I think I'm not sure when for we it? can. It's, uh, it's arcana. I'll take a look. I will we'll have to know specific stuff. Or can I yeah. Yeah. You can just roll and see what happens. Try again you just make it by rolling. In. You need you needed a nineteen. You rolled a nineteen. Nice. Well, uh, sorry, you needed a nineteen on the dice. Literally, yeah. You look over this and it seems interesting and odd all at the same time. What you notice is there are magical etchings on it. That first of all, one, it's cold iron. The second thing you notice is it has these runes that run up to where the where the sword is broken and the runes seem to be missing we were looking for a broken sword parts of a broken sword yes this is the oh, thing that you guys were not able to ever identify so the brothers right the two brothers that whoever had sword yes. would yes. land yeah. and you found you found the hilt part of it and you know that this is a cold iron flaming bastard sword but it cannot be repaired yeah. until you find yeah, the other half. half. Okay. All right. Two of the three pieces. No, you've got one of the two pieces. You do. Oh, That's it. it. Yeah. It's like, it's like, like half the sword, sword, basically. It's plus one bull iron flaming bastard sword. Correct. Because it has to have a potency rune to have flaming on it. Correct. But until you find the other part, you cannot do anything with, with it. I stabbed someone. Nothing happened. What? Until you find the other part, you can't even strip the runes off it. No. Correct. Because it's only half the rune. Correct. It's it's not active yet. You you've seen part of the runes, but you know the runes are are missing on the on the rest of it. For for future reference, identifying magic items is trained only. Is it? Oh. Anyway, it's more fun that way. All right. Who wants to carry? Who wants? I'm not though. So that works. I'm pretty, I'm just not very good. <laughs> <laughs> you had one day in wizard school. Yeah, yeah, so that's, that's just fine. All right, so who I'll wants to carry I what? Oh, that's why you want well, to go for that crafter's I will, I will train. train. I will carry the, the half broken bastard sword. Okay. I will fight to my dying fucking breath. Uh, who wants to carry the chain shirt? Well, you can't touch metal. No, no, she can. No, no, she can. Oh, can't use it. No, no, she can. Oh, yeah. That's old. That's old. old rules. You got rid of that. Though. They did. Absolutely. Well, that's good because that way I have on me, I can actually use it. What's your armor? She's wearing hide. Hide. So maybe the chain shirt might be a better choice for you. Uh, can she still wear? I think it's the same. Um, hide is medium. I think she can wear medium as well. And I think chain is medium. Chain might be heavy as well. Chain shirt's light. Yeah, chain shirt's light. Oh, it is light. Yeah. It's AC bonus of plus two. And what's the bonus for the other one? Hide is uh is AC bonus three D X cap two. Okay, so, so uh yeah, or Della or Sienna, what is your Dex? Uh, plus one? Yeah. yeah. 
Better so, off better off with the hide. Okay. In, In fact, you might want to get a hide with uh, armored, armored skirts. Does yeah. that make it higher? So it'll, it'll make the hide higher. armor heavy, but it'll increase the AC bonus by one. Okay. Um, we'll stick. So, what we can do is we can also just put the plus one uh, chain shirt into your treasury. Yeah. And that's basically Ed carrying it right now. I like it. Uh, you have a regular suit of chainmail. I'm going to assume it's also going in the treasury. Yeah. The elf woman mithril statuette, I'm going to assume also in the treasury. Yeah. Oh, There's a low grade silver short sword. Does anyone wish to have that? Or again, it could just get thrown in the treasury well, and sort it out later. I don't get a short sword. I, no, but it's silver. Do you have any silver weapons? Because you're, you're weapon based. You absolutely need. So if it's something that needs silver to damage it, it might be an option. I know, I know it's typically silver or magical, but still. Well, I don't. I, I don't know what my stuff is. She just. Yeah. just uh, it, it's all regular. It would. It would say, if it's cold iron, silver, adamantine, whatever, would be in the actual item description. Cold iron. I can still carry a little bit. Yeah. Okay, Bella. Uh, the cloak of elven kind. I'm assuming that's going to or uh, Solomon. Yep. Mister Sneaky Sneak. Uh, I'm assuming the moonstone's going into treasury. The tiger Minuki. That's the one that adds. Uh, it, you guys found a, a moonstone worth three gold pieces. I think oh, we're going to add the Tiger, tiger Minuki to her sword. Hey, yeah. the ventriloquist ring. I kind of think that would work also for Solomon because then you could throw your voice when you're trying to be uh, make it harder to find you. Plus, Plus you, you get the bonus to deception. Yeah. And since I can't lie. Yeah, yeah. you're not a very good. I hope we give it the gold bar. bar. <laughs> Like, I don't think so who's taking it which isn't isn't, isn't fainting, fainting your, isn't doesn't use deception my repertoire yeah it would off guard I just, I just can't, can't really see Ardella Ardella using it. I guess. You got enough stuff to do. Yeah. So, so just, I, don't, I don't really think it would like benefit me, but I, I could see it benefiting you. All right. So I'm going to uh, sort everything now to you guys. It's going to take a second, so don't touch your fantasy grounds as it uh, drops everything into everyone. Okay, also, you got some coin and stuff that's going to possibly change, but. Yeah, she's going to take a second. All right. So what we're going to do is we're also going to take a bio break. Uh, so we're going to pop in. And we are going to uh, yeah, be back in about 10 minutes. Be right back. Okay, and we are back. Yeah, so uh, the guys just asked, like, why did we not find treasure in the uh, troll thing? And I remember what happened was when we were done last game, we went quickly over the treasure. And I remember Carly actually wrote everything down uh, in her notes. But I forgot to actually move it over to the party treasure uh, tab on uh, Fantasy Grounds. Uh, and they found a bottle of not so fine wine. Uh, they just identified while we we're off here, uh, off on the break. Uh, the bracelet is a bracelet of dashing, which gives a plus one to acrobatics. And once per day for a single activation, it'll add a plus 10 status bonus to movement speed for one minute. A couple ever burning torches, a gold necklace with a jade pendant, uh, which I don't think had any exciting things on it. Nope, other than it's worth money. Uh, you found five medium quality gemstones worth five gold pieces each. You found some minor jewelry worth 40, a rare wood dragon statuette, and a silver Caden Kalian goblet, which is in Solomon's possession. He's drinking out of it right now. He is drinking out of it right now. All right, bracelet of dashing. Who is going to throw that on? He's drinking some of the not so fine wine out of it. All right, so I will put Solomon down for the not so fine half wine, okay? Who is also taking the bracelet, ba bracelet of dashing? I'll use the rest when I cook a dragon steak for dinner. It's so nice. Your flambe. You can have it. I'll be magnanimous. Oh. <laughs> I've seen her attempt at uh, acrobatics. So. I, I, have, I, have, I, have, I have taken a couple, couple things to make, make it a little bit better. better. I, I took, took the, off, the, the balance, balance one too, so I have better balance now. Yep. Plus one, one will be very helpful. I just, I just remember, remember more trauma. trauma more trauma. trauma. Just, I remember going through that tunnel with the bit flips and trying to cross. And the cavern? Yeah, yeah, trying to cross yeah. the cavern and getting stuck and getting in the path while I was like mid crossing. Yeah. I am now working very hard to get my own better. Yeah, and that also, uh, you, the combat climbing, I think it's the one you got. And that allows you to climb without being flat footed. Yeah. I think it's a balance of this. As well as fight. Uh, well, you, got, you also have the combat balance or whatever it is. Or steady, the, balance. steady balance. Yeah. Yeah. All right. right yeah. 
So I'm going to assume oh, that, that. Thank you. Uh, this is going oh, to treasury. treasury. Uh, someone else taking, ah. sorry, ever burning torch. Uh, Sienna was taking one, right? Yep. Just so you can see in color. And, so yeah. Solomon. and Solomon's taking the other one. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry, we're giving, oh, okay. So Sienna's taking it, but technically giving it to. It's going to go on to the collar. Okay. During downtime, I'm going to be making a little. And I'm going to assume everything else is going to get dumped into treasury for now. Yeah. So they can hang off of our belt and you can open them and close them or hang off his collar and you can open and close them. All right. So this is going to take a second and it'll drop everything in. Yeah. Train them to open it, and uh, when whenever you say, uh, "Where are you?" Okay. Um. So when you guys are done at the Drake Lair. Just write it down under your own inventory because there's no thing I can. So I should put down. It is a flame drake. Do a survival check to uh, see, how many I get. see if we can skin it. Correct. Quality. Yep. Sure. Yeah, do, to do it. Uh, I mean, you don't have to be the one that does it. Don't even. Don't even try it. Ooh. I will give you lore cooking to butcher. Absolutely. You're old crappy, but still got a decent result. You managed to take a couple scales off it, uh, Obler. And Solomon, you managed to uh, actually make some nice little Drake ribs and Drake steaks. All right, that's what we're having for dinner. Okay. With a nice, nice not so great wine sauce. You know, you, you know, the meat might be inherently spicy. It's inherently spicy. I don't think we get very far beyond the hot tub. Do I get at least so all of Oh, in the hot tub? Uh, he, no, not with that roll. You failed very badly. But Oblar manages to get you a couple. And steaks. And oddly enough, it tastes like you dumped it, you know, Frank's Red Hot sauce all over it, because that shit goes on everything. <laughs> yep. You're not sure what's hotter, the tub or the food. Are we in the tub? Yeah, literally, yeah. I picture you guys all just sitting around. Cast it again. <laughs> we don't need healing. We just want a hot tub. Dance. One per day. What do you do? Get hot tub. One per day is the winner to the zero per day, which is what it was yesterday. I understand that. <laughs> one yeah. another one. And then unfortunately, the hot tub only lasts an hour. I know. So it was just time enough for identify stuff and Solomon to get drunk. That's okay. We can bathe in the river if we really need to. And I just kind of fall in the river. Not while we're eating those wings this time. All right, and if you look at your map of the stolen lands too, you guys should now actually see the Drake sitting on that pex. You guys can use the nicely carved wooden cups that I've made. Nice. I do see it. All right, where do you guys choose to go from there? Oh, that's fine. That's not even the hex I was talking about. You can get very far. Well, we went where we went, and that's fine. Uh, basically, uh, about a hex and a half. Going north, yeah, yeah across, across, across the river, river and into the, the next hex diagonal. Yeah. So up this one, yep, the one below the the two nomads or whatever. You're going into that one. Yeah. Perfect. And then um, into the fawn and the and the naiad, I think. Oh, actually, hang on a second, because you should have south of the naiad. Hello, oh, man. Mm. Come on. What, what did I do now? We made us some nice steaks for dinner. Very, very spicy. And we, and and we dipped into the old large stock of wine. Steaks. And it, was a, it was a curly <laughs> end to the day of journeying. They were very spicy. Thanks hot tub and wine. You can mix your alcohol. And, oh. and barbecue. Yep. Oh, I see you. I see you. I see you. That, that was where... where so we're figuring out where we get some frosty bitches. My yeah. Frost can trip to squeeze it. And there's one. You know, they're cold with spicy heat in our mouth. You know how they have uh, that. Is it a boy or a girl? A boy. 
the, 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 I don't science, want that the astronomic science guys that do the nitrogen ice cream and everything. Oh, we, we have, have magic astronomic <laughs> science. I wish I had ice cream. Magical gastronomy. Mm, ice cream. Use magic to make <laughs> ice cream. The video where somebody took their um, kitchen <laughs> maker and stuck it outside. <laughs> I see. Oh, that one too. Yeah, yeah, it's cheaper cheaper than than a, Ice cream catch, but it's always out of color. You live in Canada and you got a kitchen, you got an ice cream maker. <laughs> All right, party. Party. I'm getting too much stuff. A large party of the year. True. All right, so uh, you wander into that hex and nothing seems to. Which way do you go from here? We see trees, we see a river. Every which way but loose. Right turn, Clyde. <laughs> I guess at this point, we're trying to head towards home. Let's say at this point, have we not been through all of, all of these? Everything, like Everything north of there you have already so, explored, correct? Might as well just make a direct path. Make a direct path? Okay. All right, so it takes a few days, and you do manage to make it back to uh, back to your home. Do I have a spot? Oh, I do have stags in on here. Perfect. I'm going to have to mark stuff that's left at home. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm going to put, put stuff, stuff in, in a, a beautiful little, little chest that I have in my room. Starting with my fist. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I want to put this at Stag's End, so I don't need two bows on me. I'm assuming we want to leave the broken sword at home as well. No. no. You can change the container type and just remove the weight, that way you're... Some of this stuff is a little heavy and I'm like, I don't need to be... Yeah. I'm, I'm now over my bulk, so I'm like, I need to leave shit at home. I just make it so I'm not carrying it correct. Yeah. Oh, the steel shield. We can decide if we want to sell that or not. Oh, much better. Here we go. Now I am more than bang, bang. more than less than one bulk away from being encumbered. Yeah, was he playing that song? Is that why? It was on his phone. Okay. Yes, that's why. I was like, like, why do I have this? I'm not gonna. I'm carrying 82 platinum pieces worth of stuff. That's crazy. All right. It's oh, a four o'clock, guys. Nice. It, it is four o'clock. Damn. I'll leave some, some of the alchemical bombs, but not all of them. So when you make it back, uh, yeah. the citizens are incredibly pleased uh, that they uh, know that the uh, the troll threat uh, has been uh, dissuaded. You um, get a report from uh, Valerie and Harim. We have some everywhere. Okay. It's weird. Why do I not? Have... Right. Well, well, I didn't know, know what else to do. do. I was like, I throw a bomb. I, I think, think I, I, someone took it off my belt. Actually, I think it was Omar. I, was it you? I took one off your belt. Okay, yeah. I didn't use it. Oh. You get it back. Well, then we'll do four and four. Because I didn't use up all of mine. I had three left by the end of the fight. Okay, sick. But that's, that's all I did was chuck bombs. Yeah. And battle medicine to a couple people. I'm just trying to draw I don't know why we lost uh, Valerie's picture as the general, but fine. finished the fight with six hit points. So Valerie tells you that uh, things have gone well. People are, you know, clamoring for that universe. There's a little, little unrest going, but that's just the way it normally is. One of the things she says is that the uh, two kobolds uh, have made themselves... Uh, at home. Uh, some people are okay with it, some people are not, uh, just like you normally would. One of the things to note is Sorry, for did each. Did they find their family? Nope. Nope. I thought we did. No. I thought they were in a room. Their, no, their, their families weren't there. Their families were at their homes. Their, the the trolls, trolls were still threatening them, though. Right. They, they could just go out at any time and stop all the kobolds into. <laughs> A pasty mess. Yeah. Yep. A greasy paste. So their families can, we can send word to them that they should come to the, to the village. So one know. of the things that uh, I, I was doing some background reading about, every time, so your town basically has about two to three hundred people in it. It's not like a little shanty. Each um, residential building you put in, so if it has like the residential tag, is good enough to house 100 people. So you have the tenements, which is a residential tag, and you also have the inn, which is also a residential tag. Otherwise, people, 
Yeah, other people. It's just how, how they yeah, I know. ballpark it. Um, yeah. yeah, they're and you know, you still have your 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 homes and stuff around. 32 story tavern. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Two story it's just straight up. <laughs> now, when we look at your guys's um your guys's map of your is there a map? Okay. The current buildings you have again in in the actual um, uh, in the actual thing. Why does it not have your yeah, something didn't go right? Mm. Nice. Okay. I just wanted everything to go to the very bottom of my inventory, so everything that's in Stag's End is dead. Stag's End. Okay, interesting. That should have moved it over. Hmm. Okay, interesting. I don't know why it's not showing you guys is build over there. We have an inn and we have a and a tenement. tenement. All right, I gotta find out why it's not. Unrest is because uh, the cobalt are there. Uh, it was just certain uh, stuff that happened in during events. Uh, the unrest, I believe, actually was because of the. There was also a little bit of unrest because of the, yeah. the university. Yeah. Continual unrest, basically. Yeah. But that everyone is happy that the trolls are gone. Which, like, same, bro. It means we're defeated. Interesting. And it's not there. Okay. Anyway, so in your uh, in in your map, let me. Yeah, which map should I look at? Oh, I gotta stop doing that. I keep scratching my eyebrow and then I take off my <laughs> the red of my eyebrow. <laughs> Just make jokes. Well, like I do that. dye my eyebrows, but I wash my face a lot, so it comes off very easily. Shocker. He's like, I'm gonna go home and have a shower. It's gonna be amazing. Ew, I hate that. What's that? The, the photo you posted in the chat. Oh, the dye gag? That's ba your band. Nine Nine Roommates would suck. Yes, it would. Uh, give me one second. I don't know. Yeah, fine. Thank you. Band. Somebody liked it. No, no. Oh, his band. Oh, his band. I like that you put little bridges on the map where our little crossings are. Yep. That's cute. Where's the map? How do we find it? The one where I, have, I have it saved to my, my bar, but it's the one that he shared with us. Can you reshare it? <laughs> I have both the Stolen Lands maps saved to oh, my, yeah, you're right. my little bar for when eventually, eventually we go to that side of the map. Is that all? But for now, we're on one side. But if I put them both up, then I can put them side by side, and then it's perfect. Well, almost. They actually don't match up perfectly, but like... Yeah, the zoom is different. It's close. Yes, there's little bridges. We're gonna have crossing. If I zoom it like this, it does match up a little bit. But... She's not perfect. I wish I could... Oh, I can't. No, I can't. Maybe I can. Alright, so I'm gonna share this with you guys. Oh, there we go. Oh, is this to make our... Yeah, I've got to show you where... It's very simplified. Yeah. Yeah, so one of the things to know when you look at the when you look at the grid, it's not really like you're not building into four block sections. It's more a visual to show you what is on uh, what is where. So, for instance, on your uh, west side, you actually have water because you have the uh, um, the river and it's not a small river. It's a pretty big fucking river. Uh, and to the other side, you actually have like you know, your regular stuff. So you don't have, you don't have uh, walls or anything like that yet. The way the grid works is the top right corner is where your village starts. So the, the buildings you have in it. In each, you need to have right. resident, yeah, the, uh, sorry, top left, top left. Uh -oh. um, you have to build in a continuous pattern so that you either have to connect them straight across or straight down or whatever. You can make um, an L shape, you can make a T, it doesn't make a difference how, but they have to be uh, connected. So on the top left, need, can we drag little icons? I'm about to do that exact same. That okay, sick. I have a visualizer, so this is perfect. It's not like I can not a visualizer. I need to see it physically. Each of these little four square units has to have a residence on it. Um, you no. Have have, you have to have residents for every four squares you have. Correct. So you because have there's actually some that you cannot have residential squares. Like if you put the dump in, 
for the cemetery. Um, there's actually one that's interesting is the tannery. The only place it can go by is the tenement. So if you if you if you upgrade your tenement to houses, you can't have your tanner, tannery there. Why can't you have tenements by the dump? I mean, you got the tannery stinks. I I know. You're the dump stinks. You have the poor people living there too. No concern for the poor. They gotta have stinky places to live. You know. Yep. What's a tannery? Where they make leather hide. And they're, they're incredibly right. stinky. Yes. And the major component of it is urine. Exactly. And then it gets worse. Oh, Harley's scrunched up basically. Yeah. And, and then it gets, gets worse. Now, now you know where all the pee has to go. Yep. Uh, now, so the okay, so tenement. I say we make money. Yeah. Oh, I say we make like a little, like a little urine trail. That's that's where sewer started. Was you? Wait, you to the, the tannery. <laughs> or you just have gong farmers that go around and collect. Yep. You could right. sell it. Mm -hmm. Right. You sell it. All right. So on your urban grid right now, you should see uh the that's see nothing. Let me. Let me see I don't even know that. That's crazy. Yes, I'm sure. No, we do. Here we go. Tenement. Tenement and inn is on there. So what you guys need is to. The bigger one in the inn. Yes, the one. Uh, yeah. So basically, I will fill them in, in that kind of pattern. Now some, um, buildings take multiple, uh, pieces. Like the university, they want to take the tower for. Uh, I. You can look. I think it's at least two. A town hall, I know, is two. A castle or a palace is four. Um, so there's a lot of different things you can do. But to unlock another square, you have to fill one of your blocks full. So you have to have all four. Then you spread out. So you don't put like one here and then one here and one here. But then we could pick any of like the three adjacent squares to like put. Correct. Yeah, two adjacent. So either to the. Uh, okay, west or south, you cannot go diagonal. Must be. I see. Yeah. You mean east or south? Sorry, east. Yeah. yeah. Or, or even there, right, right or down. down. Yeah, yeah, I, I prefer right, right or down. <laughs> Thank you. I do too. So. Every time, Every time somebody, somebody says east or west, I have to go. Never, never eat all you eat on the corn. Never eat wheat. So, so or if you're Corey news, news, which really screws people. Up. So one of the things, so one of the things you guys have to think about right now is what is the next building you want? Because the way this works, okay, because the, the the way this works is each month you can tr attempt to build one item, one one thing as part of your civic um so per settlement you have. Uh, yes, yes, but you only have the one settlement. But we we could establish a second one. Now, one thing to also remember is um, when we start going through the different uh, tasks, like uh, um, where you guys get to have multiple picks and stuff, you don't have to use all of them, right? You, if you only want to, if you want to blast through something and you just want to get to the building, you can forego the rest of the stuff if you don't want to do them, because um, it's up to you guys to, to decide. It's like uh, where Solomon did the building the statue in that one phase, um, you don't have to. It's yeah. completely left to you guys. So <laughs> the best thing uh, to do is what Gwen suggests always is, what building do you want? And look at what resources you require. Because there's other things, like I said, there's the mill, which allows you, uh, yeah, this is true. It's one of the things, um, like I think it was the mill, allows you to store extra food. Um, there's another one like lumber yard, allows you to store extra lumber and stuff. So that's how you also build up your city. Um, your city is now considered level three, so you can have any building up to third level. And also you do unlock, once all four are uh, done, you do unlock immediately your next zone. So you're not gonna be hampered by um, that sort of thing. And actually I believe you unlock multiple zones at certain level. I think at three, you unlock four zones. And four zones can be the top corner. Um, the one thing you have to remember is you do have your river flowing on this side. On this side so if yeah. you build down, they are close to the river. Um, one of the ones I was reading is, is the mill, because I was reading up on it. And it actually works better if it is beside a water source. Because, oh, the yeah, exactly. You get a water wheel on it, and it actually improves um, the production, like, yeah. You know, is, I don't know if it's like a thing, but like 
Is there like okay. a like you can you make like a like a like a dock like a like a shipping? You, you know what I'm trying to say? Yes, yeah. it's the pier. Yeah, it would be a pier on on this one because you're not like if you were if you'd taken over the Stag Lord's fortress with the actual oh, yeah. lake there, you could have actually built a, a, a much bigger thing. And some things also. I think it's like canoes going. Down, yeah, right? like, it, little things. Yeah, tenement housing. Um, <laughs> yeah, one of the things also is you can look at what things build into or upgrade into other things. So your tenement can upgrade into residential housing. And the way that works is the resources you spent on the base unit get subtracted from the upgrade cost of the next one. So if it costs you five lumber for the tenement and housing would cost you 10, it actually costs you five because you already have the five invested in the tenement. That's the same with like the town hall goes to something else. There, there's a couple different steps of it. Um, so yeah, and after each round, that's we, no matter what, we'll always go through a possibility of having an event, no matter what you guys do. Yeah. Um, so it's always something to think about. So we're looking at like our, I guess like our commodities. You guys are moving into the kingdom turn because we got home. Yes, yeah. you guys are home. Again, they tell you that you know it, things are going okay. Or sorry, Valerie, um, as your um, general, uh, tells you that things are okay in the settlement because well, we're you know. Uh, you have been able to take out a very large threat. Uh, you have heard odd stories, though, from some of the folks stating that there has been issues with some of the cattle in the farm going missing, and there's oh. some bloody smears left in the... Uh, chupacabra. One sec, one sec, one sec, one sec. Chupacabra. I need to pull up my notes for the kingdom turn, for the kingdom stuff. Oh my goodness, that's awesome. Well, I definitely want to investigate that after. Go take a look, see what's going on there. Yeah, we're gonna have to look into that. Sure, we will. So, once you get back and you kind of have your your chat, that happens. Yep. One of the things you guys um, also find out is once you tell uh, Harim about the uh, dwarven settlement, he does. Uh, the following month, step down as your magister, and he heads to the uh, to the I dwarven. Tell him about it then. <laughs> no, I would give him all of the notes that I had. Like, I tell him if she's lying. lying. In fact, I, I use my ring of ventriloquism. He tells him she's lying. And Harim <laughs> will uh, also um, uh, take uh, knock knock Ekin Dio, and um. And the two uh, cobalts will also go with them as well. Okay. Okay. Uh, and knock knock go with them back back down there. Yep. I knock knock will miss you. Bye, and his best friend knock knock. <laughs> 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 okay. She got up Knock knock's more just interested in re helping reclaim the the the. the um, well, he he thinks he's a great adventurer and knows that he helped take down the trolls, so he kind of thinks part of the place is his now. <laughs> Good luck with that, <laughs> All right, so... Um, one of the things, when you guys get to third level, which your, uh, bill, uh, your uh, settlement is, your skills, same thing like before, you get to train a skill in your nation's skills. So you can either change something from trained to expert or add a training in another skill. Skills. Oh, yeah. We're, We're a town. Okay. We have four, four blocks. blocks. We, we have, have 401 to 2,000 people. So, the, the things, things that we already have, have trained was like agriculture, agriculture, arts, engineering, industry, intrigue, statecraft, trade, and wilderness. Things that we don't have are things like. Voting, uh, defense, exploration, folklore, magic, politics, scholarship, and warfare. So you're saying that we either get one of those as a new one, or upgrade one of the ones that we currently have? Okay. Yeah, you can. Tr you can, just like a like a character does, right? And just one, correct? Uh, actually, you get one per level until. Oh no, sorry. No, anything that is not trained is considered half trained until you guys hit level nine, I believe. 
Okay, so we're looking at general store. So again, what would help us with the general <coughs> store? I'm just looking for the structure. Structure one, uh, eight, eight resource, resource points, points, and one, one lumber. All right, well, we have, well, well that's different, different from what we're talking about, though. But we, we have, have um, four, four lumber. lumber. Well, the general the, store requires trade. Thank you. Yeah. Is the tra so trade is the skill that you would roll to complete Yes, DC 15. Okay. To build, to build that specific. Right. So if you open up your nation, uh, yeah. If you look at the one, there should be a tab that says actions. One says buildings. Should be the second one down. Yeah, we got a plus eight, eight in trade. Oh, maybe I don't have the issue there. Oh, I only have two open. open. Just kidding. Yeah. It just says you open that one. Nope, that's that's the one you can you can see. Okay. All right. So now I have all three. I would like to flip these around though, because that's going to confuse me. So, so what skill do we want to train? train? Or make well, better? It's probably going to be a good one to train because we're trying to do trade connections. We'll yeah. Mm -hmm. so if I just hover, hover on it, is that where it? Oh, agriculture, folklore. I get you. Yes. I get you. I get you. Okay, so the town are the general store. I'm like, what on here? Do we not have trade that we want? Well, you don't have boating, defense, exploration, folklore, magic, politics, scholarship, or warfare. Is it on the check mark? Does that mean we have it? That means it is in the train. So think of the four checks as your level of uh, training. So trained expert master, master and legendary. and legendary so if you if i were to click agriculture from the first one to the second one it then becomes uh expert and it would increase the number on the right hand in side in relation to the buildings build it, uh sheet yep we also have check marks because you are trained in those okay so it's so so like industry you are trained so it gives you that and uh like the orphanage, we, we have, have the ability, ability to, to build that because we can do industry items. No, no, it just means you have the um, you have the proficiency bonus to it. Yeah. Well, we have proficiency that other things are not checked off. Yeah, yeah. like like, like the, the general store says trade, trade is not trained, but it is. Interesting. Yeah. So. Yeah. Looking at mill and it says industry trained and we are. Yeah. Oh, sorry, the check marks residential. Oh. Oh, oh yes. That makes more sense. Yeah, okay. Makes more sense. Okay. If you hover over it, it actually tells you what it is. Oh, yeah. I see, I see. Well, that's the nation data thing. Yeah. yeah. And I have all three sheets open, otherwise. It's yeah, so if you're looking at. Uh, there we go. I, I used the orphanage, orphanage as my example. So I was like, like why, why is there a question mark or a check mark beside the orphanage? It's like, we don't have an orphanage. But it's because people can live there. And one of the things I also did read is that until you have a general store, your. Um, we can buy first level you can buy first level items. It's considered two level, yeah, two levels lower than before. So you could buy any first level item in your uh, store, but and once you put the general store in, or once it works, then it's considered uh, at level of your town, which is currently level so three. So I guess we can also kind of look ahead here because we already have trade. Is there anything that we want to get that we aren't trained in? Well, I was suggesting politics. Politics. Boating, boating could be another good one because we are on a river. Uh, to be very honest, boating is one of the weakest things you could do. Is it? Okay. Yeah. Defense, Defense or warfare, warfare would also be good choices. If you decide you're going to start pissing off uh, people, sure. This is why I'm thinking we should go for politics first, so we don't piss off our neighbors. What's the fun in that? We got an army. Well, we got a platoon. But the politics. Oh, we got some guys with sticks ready to help try and defend our little shanty. So some things that we won't be able to like. Um, build until we're like a higher level. Yeah. So Correct. Like politics wouldn't come into effect until we're level eight because we can't build an embassy. In but that's just that's yeah. Just but building. but that's just building. What Gwen's talking about is like when you try to do your trade negotiations with with like Patax, that would be a political thing. Or when you're sorry, uh, when you're trying to. Um, oh, I see. Yeah. Statecraft is the one we wanted dealing with other nations. We have trained in that one already. But we can yes. also become expert in for. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, like expert yep. things. Absolutely. Yeah, you could. So, like, right now we're trained in it. We can also upgrade ones that we are. Yeah. yeah. If you hover over the um, the nation skills, it actually tells you what they do. So, if you wanted to become, uh, you know, better in agriculture, agriculture means the nation's ability to cultivate land. And that's where, if you're rolling to see if your farm produces or you're trying to do that sort of stuff, it would increase that. So Arts would be, you know, more monuments that Keith wants to build. Yeah, <laughs> it measures the nation's ability to engage and interact with other nations. Where's the politics? 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 Where's the polit
in the eye of others, uh, sorry, in the eyes of other nations and its own citizens. That's yeah. If we want to make whereas politics is your is your local within yeah. your intra. Yeah, awesome. and your intrigue would be the, the Gestapo. The the yeah, exactly. The intrigue is your your black uh, black market kind of stuff. They all involve loyalty, which is shitty for us. So just, Correct. Um, we can only I, do one, right? You can only do one right now. Yes. Okay, yeah. I'm it's not a plus zero. We have a plus one. We leaning towards defense, defense personally, or, or increasing one of the ones we already have. Okay. So that'd be my vote. Well, if anyone attacks us, we just leave as a group and go stomp a mud hole in their ass <laughs> instead <laughs> of <laughs> having our army deal with but it. But the problem is, we could probably, probably kill our army, army by ourselves. Nah. Well, not necessarily. Or Gilla could probably kill our army by herself. But when we get into that kind of warfare, the rules change dramatically. But we don't want to hear our army Chris talking about that. No, no. But and that's the other thing as well. There's also a barracks. I guess the other thing we need to address is you doing the Henry Cavill arm pumping thing. Oh, yeah, yeah for Mission Impossible. Yeah. Said. All right, so we do have to get rolling, guys. So let's start. Let, let's yeah. pick something and well, go. The other thing we have to deal with is Hiram stepping down. We need a new magistrate. After this but that's turn. That's a separate thing. After this turn? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah, this turn you still have Hiram. Okay. Hiram. Okay. Hiram. Hiram. When he hears the news of the temple. Correct. Okay. So he will step down after this month. So skill. Yes. Focus, Focus on, on that. that. Yep. Okay, we, we have to, to, we get to improve one, one skill. Correct. All right. I think defense, but if other people think other things, we can improve other things. We can improve our statecraft, which we seem to be using a fair bit. I like statecraft or trade. So as a GM, my suggestion would be either trade, statecraft, or become trained in magic. Oh, magic. I didn't even look at that. Those are, those are the three kind of really higher up stuff that uh, seems to be very much rolled and affected in... Oh. In the Kingmaker. Like I said, boating so really never comes up. Like people around us learning magic, basically? Uh, yeah, it, it, it's, there's a few th different skills you can get into that require magic to be used and stuff, and I know you've tried to use them a couple times, and it works better if you have it trained. It's yeah. just the breadth of natural magical talent amongst our people. Yep. And the study of ancient secrets and magical theories. Correct. Right. Yeah, I, I think... So magic, magic would help us see it at a town hall. It can, yeah. Yeah, it says Matt, industry, magic, and statecraft. I can't see if there's more there, but those, those are the three that I see, which could be beneficial for when we need to make a town hall. Which, which I, I would assume we're going to do. Defense, industry, magic, statecraft, 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 trained, required. That's something that I, didn't, I never, never would have thought of. of. It's like the magic one. Yeah, me either. It's got a couple of really powerful abilities in the skill but section where you're using it. So. When you first time you build a town hall, you reduce sunrise by one each kingdom turn. Yep. Okay. Town hall in the capital allows well, yeah. leaders to yeah, take three leadership activities, activities during the activity phase instead of two. What we we want to build after we build the the general store is to 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 try and build the town hall. All right. All right so Feels what? Like let's go with back back, back quick. Back to skill. Yeah. Back to skill. Do we, we not disagree on magic? I think, I think magic is magic train. Yep, right. that works for me. That's what you guys do. All right. Okay. Oh. You guys are looking at building a jet store? We are. So why don't we go through the turns properly? Yeah. So we got to roll for re resource dice. Correct. We, we have 11 resource points, points from last time. Is that how that works? Or how yeah. many resource No, that, points goes, that got okay. converted. Okay. It became uh, money. Money, money, money. Yeah, yeah there's, there's, it, it's, it's a zero, zero sum, sum at the end of each turn. Right, okay. This is reading cool. 11 for me right now, so. Well, we, we have to restart. Okay. All right, so we are now on a new turn. Yeah. Oop. There we go. All right, settlement consumption was uh, good to go. You guys also have two fame, which is basically your hero points for this. Mm -hmm. Right. You have everyone currently in place as your nation's leader. So who would like to roll on the um, resource dice, the 8d4? Hey, drag it, over. drag it into the resource uh, 
Uh, or just double click it. There's, should come up. Well, sorry, what am I double clicking? Resource dice type. Yeah. Uh, it should be, yeah. Nothing's happening. Nothing during? I'll try dragging. Yeah, try dragging. Okay. I tried to drag the number. Yeah, it did. I, I cannot. It will not let me. Like, do I have to drag, drag a die eight. into the little box? The, the D8? That's it. Eight. 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 Why is it not doing what it's supposed to do? So if I go, is it a D8? No. Six, seven. Oh, it's only four. <laughs> I'm just kidding. One, two, four? No. <laughs> it didn't work either. No, no. Resource points acquired. 29 so resource points. What did you well, that's nine yeah, that's what it's supposed to be. Oh. Your default dice is eight, plus you get one extra because of your... All right, sick. What do you think? So what you have nine, 29 what? resource. I don't know who did it, but good job. Adjust unrest, and then resource collection. Kingdom level plus four plus bonus dice minus penalty dice. Sure. So our kingdom level is three plus four. Nation turn? Yep. yep. Oh, shit. I have, I have this written down as being on a third. I think I, I missed a few. I think that's why. They're they're also buried in some of your other notes. That's why I couldn't just put them out. Okay, yeah, because yeah, because there's there's a couple other. I'm like, wait, no, there's resources over here and so stuff. Finally, if you have any work sites established in your kingdom, gather commodities. You gain one commodity for each work site, or double that if the work site is in a resource hex. Which is why we which is why we have plus two lumber. Correct. In excess of your storage capacity are lost. Correct. So right now you have your your stored lumber is four. It's the maximum it can be. So we might want to trade some of that away, or use it. So if we're going to build something, we're going to be using it. And we gained one food and lost one food. Correct. So it's a net zero. All right. You currently yeah. have two fo okay. two food. All right. Next point. Consumption. We go into the co commerce section. So the commerce section is where you can collect taxes. You can try to improve lifestyle. You can try to manage trade agreements, which you only have one. Uh, but because this is the fifth month, you could get rest of to do um, trade agreements if you needed to. Uh, we do not have to worry about any of the new leadership positions. Again, tapping treasury is absolutely useless until you guys are like, you're, until your city is level 10 plus. But then you have to balance your unrest. You have to, yeah, you also have to pay it back. Otherwise, the unrest goes up real high. Trade commodities, you could try doing as well if you think you need it. Uh, but currently, honestly, I would say you don't. Because the lumber and stone and all that stuff that you need for your... Uh, general mill. For the general... General, general store. Yeah, you guys are, are fine. You don't need any of that. So honestly, I would just kind of blow past unless you want for some unknown reason to collect taxes. No, that's a bad idea. Make people unhappy. Okay. So I would just say that just bypass the commerce section right now. There's nothing really you need to do. We could get, we could trade for like ore or luxuries because we have only one luxury and no ore. So eventually we might want to build something that might need that. If we start collecting it now, then it's less of a concern, right? So how do we wait? How do we trade for that then? The managed trade agreement. I think that's the managed trade agreement. Managed trade agreement and. Depending, depending on, on our success, success we can... I see, so we basically are sending people to somewhere else that has, yeah. like, ore. It's also the trade commodities. You can do that one as well. That's where you try to uh, attempt a basic check. If you trade with a group that you've established diplomatic relations, which is Restov, okay. you gain a plus one bonus to the check, and it's a technically a one-to-one -one ratio, depending on how you do. Okay, sure. Could we, would we be successful at getting a trade agreement with Patak? No, you just sent you just sent uh, envoys over there. So yeah. manage your agreement to establish it, or no? We sent like diplomats to attack. So you did, yeah. They're not back, correct? No, they are not. Well, it does suggest yes, sent out spies to the little lizard people, and they're not back yet either. Um, how many nation actions do we get? You can do every single nation action if you feel like it. Commerce. This is turned. Sorry, at commerce. You can do one of every single one of those. There's no limit. But you can only do it once. You can only do one trade commodities. You can only tap the treasury once. Not currently. So I would suggest, because we're just wasting lumber anyways, I would suggest we trade some of our lumber for either luxuries or ore. I say ore because we don't have any, so we might as well have one. But yeah, okay, sure. Sorry, my, my bad. Trade commodities is to get extra resource uh, points. Oh, I see. Sorry, that was my bad. I so read is it, it's the other one, the manage, manage trade, trade agreement? Correct. Right. 
I believe. Let me double check. Yeah. So manage trade agreement. Uh, you can actually click the little arrow and open up the window. And if you um, if you make your number at start of your next kingdom turn, you choose to gain one uh, one bonus resource dice per agreement or one commodity of your choice per trade agreement. No more than half these commodities may be luxuries. Okay, okay cool. cool. It shows all the different like rolls you need to get. Yeah. Okay, sick. Why not? Ooh, we could trade commodities as well. We're getting lots of resource points. Yeah. yeah. So, so I think we trade. Com- we manage the trade agreement to get. Yeah, it'll spend. It'll be two RP to manage it. Yeah. Which you guys have a shit ton right now, so it doesn't make a difference. And it's a plus eight to your check, and you just make a dice roll, and you need to beat a sixteen. As long as we have eight. RP, then we're fine to whatever we want. Yes, but we are at plus seven because we're getting minus one for unrest. Correct. So an eight or better on the on the dice means you get something. Okay. Do you just roll like a regular die? Uh, if you open up the managed trade agreement, the little arrow window, okay. it gives you the dice with the plus eight beside it. It says 65%, which is how uh, the chance of you being successful on it. Okay. Do you want me to try it? Go for it. Do All right. No. Uh, no, you have to double click the little d20. There you go. There you go. Oh, no. Nine. All right, so. Being that fucker. I don't know if that's a good use of it. Yeah, it's two of them. Why not? You know what? It's up to you guys. We definitely <laughs> want to save one for the event, just in case we want to reroll. You do get one resource point per trade agreement and starting your next turn. So even on, on that failure, you're still going to get one extra uh, bonus uh, dice. So okay. it's up to you guys. If you really think the commodity is that important, you yeah, can yeah, reroll. We can, we can save it then. I was, I was gonna say, say we also might want to keep one for the, the general store as well. Yep. Yeah, it's true. Okay. So All we'll right. Just leave that, that lie as it is. Okay. And I think, I think that's our commerce turn. turn. Yeah, I, so I agree. There's anything there. The one that usually takes a lot of time is your leadership because that's where you can do capital investments, celebrate the holidays, etc., etc. You yeah. each have two, so technically you have eight to, actions. I want to do the one that helps to get. Well, I guess we can't get rid of the unrest, uh, like until we build a. Uh, no, there is quell unrest. Okay, yeah. You said your agent among the citizen who was uh, charged with suppressing dissent. I mean, that's not the best There's way, but lots of different ways of doing it. Our yeah. Folklore, intrigue, magic, politics, or war. There's choices. Yep. And our best rules are magic or arts. I say we increase our warfare so, so we can use that one to quell unrest as well. <laughs> you always you love defense, defense and warfare. warfare. There's, There's a reason, reason to have it. Well, although, I guess for... I want to do magic now that we have the ability. Like, why not? Sure. I'd like to try and... Go ahead and roll it. Which one are you trying to do? Call on unrest magic. Success. Reduce unrest by one. Nice. Yay! I can make the town a little happier. Yeah. So basically, you send out the uh, the magic goon squad, and they're like, you will be happy, you will be happy. <laughs> People are like, we're happy, I guess. No, I picture it more like we're putting on a magical fireworks display. You send your agents among the citizenry with, with charge of suppressing dissent and calming unrest. And, uh, yeah, there you go. Exactly. Yeah, they walk out with a whole bunch of charm spells. Like, See, look how happy your neighbors are. Yeah, exactly. Be more like them. Like Fallout in the vault. Okay, uh, all right, so that is one of your actions. Let's Actually, I think it starts at zero. I don't think it really matters who goes in what order as long as we keep track of. Uh, um, the actions actually will, will, I think, as if the moment you roll a dice will actually do it because it went from okay, eight to nine. I'll keep track of how many we've done. Yep. It's fine. So you have no technical uh, continuous events that are happening right now? We do. They want us to build, build a university. university. You build a university. Uh, you guys have already completed the stopping of them oh, really yeah, wanting to get them out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We get you on education. Anyone wants to walk an aisle to get a diploma, but y'all nuts. <laughs> you need a house yeah. first. We need food first. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so here's where we can establish trade agreements. We can also uh, craft luxuries. Um, using the arts, which we're pretty good at. Uh, we can Ooh, rest and relax. send a diplomatic, diplomatic <laughs> envoy to someone else. I was trying to think where else, else we I'm... haven't. I'm There's sort of lots of places, but I'm trying to think of anywhere. You actually haven't really run into a lot of places. No, know. Know. You know of Patak, and that's pretty much all you know of. I know. I know as a player, player there's way, way more places. places. I was like, there's, there's no one I can think of that like we would need to talk to right now. Like, like capital investment. I was like, could you be fun, fun from your personal wealth? wealth. What? what? What's that? It's, it's the reverse of the take money out of the treasury. Uh, personal, personal wealth. wealth. What's that? Yeah. 
Um, one of the things you can do, which is always funny. Oh, actually, hang, sorry. Uh, the Quell and Rest did it have any uh, RP talks to it? Nope. Um, one of the things you can do is uh, prognostication. Oh, well, that was the one that allows you to roll twice on a kingdom event if you succeed. Okay. It really costs you nothing to do it. Um, now we're trained in magic, so we have a better chance of doing it. Yes, you have a six percent chance of at least getting a favorable result. And now that you've removed the unrest, you actually have a better chance now. Yep. I think Fred of the Word's always a good one, too. That's the other one I was looking at. Yeah, well, let's do prognostication. Okay, so someone uh, give it a roll. I rolled the last one and I suck, so... Well, we each have two that we have to roll. Yeah. Oh, the hell was that? Oh. All right, 23. You guys get a plus one circumstance bonus to checks made to resolve any random kingdom event this turn. Now, it's random. It may not happen, so... Yeah. But, but I remember the last time I did it, we got it, but we didn't need yeah. it. Correct. Yeah. Right. And now you're up to two out of your eight actions. Do you want to do the spread the word? Oh, let's spread the word. It gives us a possibility of getting bonus fame. It also, also reduces unrest, but we don't need that anymore. But on a, on a critical success, we get the reduced unrest. Or the, the bonus, one bonus fame. And, and it, it also, also reduces the DC <laughs> of the next random event this turn by one. If we get the critical success. If you get the critical success. 1d6 and gain one bonus fame, or reduce unrest by 1d6, reduce unrest by 1 so, so the only way, way we, we do it is to get a critical success. The only way it does anything. Currently, yep. It has worked for us in the past. It has. There we go. Lindsay. She goes out and spreads some rousing stories and reduces unrest by 1d6, which is not a huge issue, but there you go. That is three actions. There we go. I was, I was just, just looking at rest and relax. We went yeah, out we only did that one turn. I think every DC goes up if you did it last turn. Yeah, I see. I'm pretty sure we did it last time. You do also have one uh, prime rune. Oh, do we? Yep. So do you could do a, a repair reputation crime. Okay. I'm just looking for that real quick. Oh, I see corruption, crime, decrit, decay, and strife. Correct. I'll I'll do that. Hey. I'm gonna go slap around, around some criminals. Yep. Be better. Stamp down cry. In all cases, the DC is your control DC plus two. Yep. Yeah, it's 55% chance. It's not critically failing. We'll be all right. Now you said it. Yeah, I was gonna say. Oh, no, now you're all fucked. Here goes nothing. All right. Oh, you're good. You reduce the targeted rune by one. You have zero crime. No you still have one strife, but that's fine. That is four actions. What, like, I'm just reading the, the supernatural solution. Um, like, That's only for ongoing things, isn't it, though? Well, it says for any... To aid in, in resolving any kingdom skill check made during the remainder of this kingdom turn. So that, I mean, like, if we had a an encounter that was magical, or like an event, that this, that would affect... Uh, no, it's actually a uh, kingdom skill check, which is currently what you're doing right now. Or it could also be the civic check, because that's one of your checks. Strife yes, yes, correct. But yes, you could try supernatural solution and see what happens. I mean, why not? Okay, someone roll it. Yeah, it's fine. I'll do it. What are you doing? Supernatural solution. Oh, nice. Look at you. You crit success. Nice. You call upon Spellcast's supernatural solution to aid in resolving your kingdom's check. Okay, attempt a magic check. You did. All right. And you. Are there any other ones that have magic involved in what I do? Uh, yeah, right now I'm like looking at magic now. Reduce strife. Uh, that's, that, that's intrigue. So basically what happens, your supernatural solution is an automatic success of any other check you wish to do. Oh, nice. okay. If, if you would have only succeeded, it would have cost you RP as well, but it doesn't because you critically succeeded. Oh, pardon me. The um, magic check against the same DC in addition to the kingdom check and then take whichever of the two results you prefer. Correct. So you have a 26... Skill check banked. And if you need to use something else, so let's say uh, uh, Keith rolls something else, and you get a crit fail. You'd be like, you know what? Supernatural solution will take the 26 instead. So basically, it's in your pocket. Whether you use it or not, it'll be gone at the end of this turn. But that is your. But that is your fifth one. You have three more if you wish. Again, you do not have to. But I was reading that one, and I was like, this seems a little interesting. We could try the, um, Repair Reputation Strife, maybe? Get rid of that one point of strife we have? Uh, you absolutely can. 
Okay. But oh, oh you're, you're just speaking of the world. world. Yeah, I failed. And you cannot uh, repair reputation on this rune for one kingdom turn, so okay. you cannot try again. You you ended up with with one strife and one crime because of an event and stuff. So I think the one crime is actually from the tenement. It could have been, yeah. Rune only gets really bad if it gets really high. It gets over your threshold. Yeah, yeah, it gets over your you're over your ten. You're in trouble, but the thresholds can also be reduced for reasons. Um, Anywho, uh, that is six actions. You have two left, guys. We can also do purchase commodities or send the diplomatic envoy with our twenty-six and make it a critical success. And go where? That's the question because we've already sent someone to Patak. We've already sent. We've already established with Rostov. We don't know any of anyone else. I already sent people to the lizard people. You sent spies down to, li to the lizard people. Uh, they have not come back yet, but we can deal with that in yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I didn't think so. How, However, how well you roll, how quickly they well, come back, or like how the much information thing, they have? The thing of it is, is the diplomatic envoy is establishing trade agreements, right? Uh, it is. It is the opening of doing it. You cannot establish trade agreements until you establish and, diplomatic relations. And if we don't have, if we have one trade agreement. Managing trade agreements is going to get us one thing. But if we have 15 trade agreements, we're getting something for each trade agreement. Yeah. Right. Yeah, we it also costs you resource where points for each one you're managing. I think but what we're trying to say is, like, where would we send these diplomats to? Because they've already gone the 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 You haven't gone a lot of other places that you know of yet. So. That we know of? Right. Yeah, you've only you've only scouted this little section, right? Yeah. So you haven't stumbled upon anything else yet. Yeah. Oh, we yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we haven't met anybody else. All we know right now is Rostov and Patak. Yeah. yeah. We don't know anybody else. Yeah, I don't think the alchemist in his hut counts. Or the lizardman. I don't think the lizardman counts as a, as a nation either. No. So purchasing commodities would be another idea if you wish to um, try to get some commodities, we like you want the ore or whatever. You can absolutely do that. And you can always roll, and if you need that 26, you got that 26 in there, so. Keep the links that need or. I agree. Kale, Alchemy Laboratory. Well, I'm out. I've already used, used all mine. I used my two as well, so yeah, it's good or keep. Which one are we doing? Purchase com uh, commodities. Yep. I used two. Yep. Gwen's the only one left to roll. Okay. So, so we're looking for or. I don't think you used your two. Did you only use one? I only used one. Yeah. I did the strife. Oh, oh you did. just used one. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not the strife. The I failed one. Yeah. I failed two, actually. So you failed, but you still gain one commodity of the chosen type if you wish. You can take the 26 if you wish. Let's, Let's, save, the 26. Let's save the 26 for something else. Because the okay. one that you failed on before was not part of this turn. Was not a leadership turn. All right, so are you taking the ore then as your one? Take, take the ore as our one commodity? Might as well. Okay. The, the 26 can only be used on these, right? Yeah. No. Anything, Anything during this kingdom turn. Yes. Exactly. Which is still the civic phase, uh, the regional phase. So, so if you're like trying to like claim a hex, horribly fail building, building our, our general, general store, we can make it a critical success. Yeah. Correct. Or, or like, yeah, yeah, like we're trying, trying to. Yeah. All right. Like that, that also does that count, yeah. does cost you four resource points. You're yeah. down to 25. That's okay. Uh, I think I, I can't see anything else on that. Can can do. So, region? Yep. We can move the regional one. Okay. So, this, this is where. We want to claim, claim it, so we can only do one. Action? You can only do one action on this. I think we could put little things on here if I know which ones we have. I kind of think we should. Well, okay. How close are we to the? Uh, I don't know what X we we have claimed. I don't know which X we have either. You have only been able to claim one hex, and that is a hex to the. Uh, uh, east, the 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 right, if you're so, or the left. I'm sorry, the right. We're still working map. towards we're getting, getting that mine, and I think that, that is yeah. now within reach because we've correct. Got one X. Yes, because you were making your way towards it. So if you look at the, the big thing. map, you can kind of see what. If you look at your map of the stolen lands, you guys are in well, where it says you're in your little, uh, uh, yeah. and you've claimed a hex that is basically the one south. East below you, and you could go to the right now and claim the gold mine. Yeah. So you've claimed the the the, the basic land that is kind of in between the rickety bridge and your uh, and your um your your town. Now you you want to try to claim the hex with the gold mine. Which is the one to the right. It's the one to the right, and you'd have it uh, claimed. 
I'll try to get another map like this and have just of what you guys have, you unfortunately. Just an outline of what, what we yeah. have. So we have, we have the, basically the two along the river, and then we'll come beside it. Correct. Okay, so should we so try? Claim the hex to get, yeah. the, get the mine. Oh, claim the hex is magic. Good shit. Which you guys just have uh, done it. So you get your one action. Go ahead and give it a roll if you wish. Sure. And I'll, I'll roll if I know what you want. Sure. 12, you failed to take claim it. Take the 26. Take the 26. Uh, so yeah. take the 26. Which okay. I think, which actually looks, allows us to claim a second. You claim a hex immediately and add it to your territory, increasing your kingdom size by one. Your occupation of hexes goes so smoothly, you can immediately attempt another regional activity. So, so we, we could, could build just the work, work establish a mine. You could absolutely establish, try to establish the mine with the engineer. I mean, I say yeah, yeah before. Establish the work site. Right? Who wants to roll that one? I say not me. I, I just failed mine, so. I'll go for it. Well, well you, you were successful, successful on your last one. No, so I failed my last one. We're all cool. Okay. Da -da -da. How about I do it? All right, it's Keith's turn. I failed on something in a little while. <laughs> what a, wait, what? Wait, what? Oh, oh, there we go. You have yeah. two fame points you if you wish. Points. I'm gonna use fame points. I'm gonna use fame points. Yeah, let's yeah. get that gold mine. 24. I said yes, so. You establish your working hex. You now have the mine. A step. Okay. I write that down in our notes. Establish. <laughs> and that Lord's will side. now give you a plus two ore because it's one for establishing the mine and one because it's an actual mine location. Okay. All right. That's it. Civic. This is where we want to build our. You have build structure or demolish structure. And unfortunately, I don't know why the fuck I cannot put the. Um, the thing on here. I don't know why. Where is my where's my building? I well I should be able to put the building on there. Like right now it says in, but I don't know why it's there. It should be gone. Oh, I see. Uh give me one second to see if I can pull. We wish to build I wish I think we should make the engineering because that's required basically to build everything. Maybe we can do that one next time. There'll be more points to come. We're making good use of our magic. Yeah. We're gonna make good use of the magic. So. And maybe I'll wash that maybe when I get home. What's that? Uh, into the woods. I said I wish, then I was like, oh, it's just unlocked. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Adds that to the turn tab. So hang on. Nice. And yeah. this. That's what we should build. Yar. Eight lumber, eight resource points, points, and one lumber. Which we definitely have. We got. Yeah. Tons of that. Oh, we hang on. Sorry. More, and we got four oh, lumber. So. Where's that? And honestly, honestly, if we, we have leftover resource, resource points, they turn into experience. Yeah. Oh, yeah, XP. I thought it was points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. They, they turn, turn into quite a bit of XP, in fact. I think it's like 10 times each or something like that. I don't know. All right. So we're going to make this roll. Oops. So well, we, we still, still have one fame point. It says two, but we have one. Yeah. So oh, no, I it's can... just one to one. Yeah, I can try. Sure. Oh, okay, hang on one second. Hang on, hang on. Wait for Pride to figure that thing out. Take, Take it away, Ernie. <laughs> Oops, I don't want mail. Second, let me add a modifier 20 to this. So, I keep saying the best skill for is engineering, but I'm guessing you can use engineering or trade. Where do you see that? Oh, in the little pop up? That's what happened. Okay, sorry. And then yeah. you know, it's the arrow button. For me, it says required skill is trade. Yeah, it's a it's a trade roll. I don't see what you see. I don't see engineering. The civic actions, build structure, the little arrow that opens up the. Oh, I'm yeah. in the building section. No, my yeah. skill says trade. I yeah. don't see engineering anywhere. You can roll either trade or for this, for this for the general store, you can either roll trade or engineering. So, are, I think, are you in the tab that says civic? Yeah, civic actions. So, where it says general store has the arrow? Yeah. Click on the arrow. And then under trade, it says trade underneath it with a plus eight. Yes, trade. So, you can either roll trade to finish it off. I'm so confused where we're seeing engineering, though. Uh, under the actual civics tab. Yeah. Civic so actions. So, build structure, engineering. Oh. 
Oh, yeah, you've got, got the little arrow thing, thing that brings up the, the sub-square. I see. It's a and, and it says the best skill is engineering. I'm thinking you use engineering, engineering if you are not trained in trade. I understand. Correct. I understand. Yeah. I was like, why, what are we talking about? So who wants to roll to see if you guys can... Oh, I'm sorry, and you blew one fame point. We did. I'm not really care who rolls. Go ahead and roll. Yeah, so I can roll it. And if you fail, you use the pain point. Yep. We use the pain point. Okay. Because we want to build this. That's 20. You complete the structure. So you're spending eight RP, one lumber, and it is considered built. Boom. It is in progress, so it'll be built next. No, it's actually built right now. It's built the month of. The only reason the end is because you failed the original right. roll and yeah. it took you an additional month. That's right. Yeah, that's why. So the first month you couldn't build anything. The second month you built the tenement. The third and fourth month is where you completed the inn. And on your fifth month, you now have the general store. We have a general store now. We have a mint. Possibly. I was trying to find where something like we were successful. Nice. You had to use the same point. Oh, okay. But. Well, you're out of fame points now, which is fine. And uh, I'm up here. Did we do two months if one goes before as well? I think so, yes. 15. We were at 503, so I think we're probably done. No. No, I'm just kind of getting lost. I only see us as being on track. I think because, yeah, I think we didn't want to. Going through all of the notes, I can't find an additional turn, so we didn't write it down and, like, record what we did, or, like, I wasn't here for it. I don't think you were here for it. Uh, you actually weren't here for it. That's why. Yeah. Okay. So at this point, we are at 503. Yeah. Uh, we have completed it. Just to be very easy, I'm not going to bother with a random event because it is it is actually randomly an event. So this month is all nice and quiet. I'm not concerned. And that will be the end of this. So what we're going to do is when we come back in two weeks, we're going to do another uh, kingdom turn. Uh, I think you guys are uh, leaning towards the town hall, so we'll we'll blast through all the stuff as well. Uh, there'll be some other uh, interesting, intriguing stuff going on. We're gonna throw up the MVP poll before I forget, and I'm also gonna move into my credits. You did build a quarry for stone. And now you have an ore and you have a lumber. So you actually end a farm. So you actually have one of each of the things, which is great. So what we're going to do is we're going to quickly run into the, um, the MVP poll. So you guys are going to have 90 seconds to vote on who you think was the MVP. Uh, you still should see in the chat, the MVP poll is still there. That's just, I have something oops on there, which I understand why. So it's all good. Um, all right, so I get to pick. Hmm. Well, I think the only way to do this, correct. Oh, you voted for Gwen. Oh, interesting. All right. And Carly, you said you didn't vote? Oh. I didn't. <laughs> yeah, I'm issues with your stream. Yeah, it kind of happens at your age. I think then at this point, um, I will I will say I would like Carly and Keith to dice off lowest number wins. What where's all yours your 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 beautiful dice? Oh using the using the Kingmaker. See if she rolls shit for Keith because he wants a low number. He gets a four. four. He literally gets a four. Get a four. four. Carly got a 17. Keith gets the additional Hero Point, we're getting two weeks and we'll be back. Thank you everyone so much for joining us today and we'll see everyone in a couple weeks.